Good morning, everybody. Be with you in a moment. Wait for some people. Just waking up. Eight minutes to start. Hmm. Eight minutes till start. What are we doing today? We are playing... Progressive, progressive bounty tournament. 500 is the buy-in. 250 is the bounty. Bounties are good for us in terms of our chance to win the tournament, which we've established. Not necessarily about winning money, because we don't do the things you're supposed to do in a bounty tournament from a financial perspective. Okay, what does that mean? When you play a bounty tournament, there are spots where, you know, you're getting a good price because you get an extra $200, $300 to knock out a player. So you play a, a bad hand, right? Just because it's worth, worth it. We don't do that. I don't do that. And that's not, again, that's another one of those things we talked about the other day. It's not the best financial move. Why does it say 40 hours? That can't be right. Must be mistake. Estimated duration, 40 hours? No. What it, what a hell, that's a mistake. I think it's a little boo-boo. Let's see, 15 minute blinds? Yeah, it's gotta be a boo-boo. Must be boo-boo. 1,000 players though. What do we do today? Two day event, tournament breaks at level 30. So that's around seven o'clock, my local time. So about eight hours of play today. A little morning coffee. Last night we went to the Cactus Club again, right over, right across the street. This time I did not give them a hoodie away. I, <laughs> I, uh, nobody asked for the hoodie, so kept the hoodie on. Had a little bit of Pinot Gris. Pinot Gris. She likes Pinot Gris. All of a sudden we went to this other restaurant. They didn't have Pinot Grigio. They had Pinot Gris. She liked it, so we had a little bit of that. We hung out in the lobby, the hotel for a minute. I don't know. We did an Instagram live for like five minutes. I don't know why. Just stupid. Like, you know. Drunk talk, whatever. Not much different than this, but... So then we chatted until like 2 in the morning. Actually, kind of late. Um, so yeah, coffee. Wake up. We got 6 minutes. 6 minutes. 6 minutes. 6 minutes, Dougie Fresh, you're on. Uh, 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 Should I... Eh, leave it. Leave it, leave it, leave it. All right, what's going on in the world today? What's going on in the world today? Lots of things. Got, I had my morning coffee, like I said. Uh, who's this? Hmm. we got going on. okay we got work stuff what's going on here All right, 45 seconds, and we'll have you guys in the chat with me. Sign in a little early. Four minutes till we rock. Oh, it says take my seat. Wow, already? Okay. So, take my seat. We are an early bird. Early bird, when you sign up on time, you get extra chips. We get an extra 10% of our stack because we sign up on time. Because we're responsible individuals. Give ourselves the best chance for success. Gonna switch the table over. It's just a second. Do 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 do. Let's go. This is it. Hello. Okay. Let's take a look at the table shortly. Let's see. Okay. We're gonna show you that. Leon. I know Leon. Mm, Leon. Leon Sturm. I know Leon. Okay. What's going on there? Is that good? Not sure if. We got a not sure if. That's funny. 
Not sure if. He's a champ. He won a GG Masters. He's got 2.6 million in earnings over there. Not sure if. Flight Risk has 224,000. Sfinch Shidois has 374,000. Leon Sturm, 5.4 million. Labal Blit, Labal, Labal Bless, $347. Okay, thank welcome to the site. Who is who? 611,000. Jimmy, 109, 127,000. Well, here we go. We got Pimentero, you're first. Hello, Pimentero. Carpen in 1977. Kevin Lynch, Mike C., Nathan, Daniel Gerard. What's up? Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, you're good morning. Salute, salute. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are deep stacked. We'd have a tough cookie on our left in Leon. Played with him this summer, the World Series of Poker a little bit. Sharp young kid. Seems to be a good player. So, you know, not not ideal uh, at a starting table to have like a you know high stakes reg on your left, but you know, you're gonna fail. in order to win you gotta get through everybody, right? So Yeah. Alright. So, okay, and what's what's the we have don't forget guys, we have the day two of the fifteen hundred dollar millimaker coming up on Sunday. And that's a, gonna be a good one. You win yourself a package, two Bahamas. Which is pretty sweet. Let's see what else we got going on for tournaments. Alright, there's a whole bunch of heats going over the next couple days. You gotta get yourself in there. We already qualified. Let's see. What what do we have for stack? I don't know. Maybe I should play more of them. Let's see. Players. Okay, we got guys with 150 bigs in there. And I have what? I have like 31 and a half bigs in that tournament. I'm in 76th place. What's the average? Average is a little like 43. Yeah, I can make an argument. We'll see how it goes today. Could make an argument firing another bullet in that shindig there. Alright, one minute from Cards in the Air. We are going to play kick-ass poker again today. That is the plan. Pair of threes on the button, hand number one. 270 fig blinds deep. This is going to be a hand we play for sure. We kind of like these hands in the early stages. On the button, we definitely want to play more pots when we're deep because we can do a lot of things, you know? Position becomes even more important when you play deep stacked, right? My morning, morning, my normal wake-up time asks Gord Kerr, it is around... 9.30, 10 o'clock in the morning. Wake up. Ish. Have a coffee at around 11. Usually hit the gym. Okay, I'm going to flat here. Take a flop with the threes. Hope to catch lightning in a bottle. Mm, this is a flop we could still have the best hand on, right? Because if you didn't start with a pair, didn't hit the jack, or the seven, I can actually... Put in our little raise with the threes. I know. Ooh, wow. With the raise, why am I raising? Because I'm, I can have a lot of hands here. I can have a jack. I can have a seven. I could have nine, ten of spades. There's a whole bunch of hands that I'll be able to represent. Now, that turn card isn't ideal. Hmm. But I think now it, some of the hands got there that I was representing, right? So if he doesn't have an ace in his hand, which I'm bet calling the flop, you know, ace isn't all that likely like him calling the raise maybe he has like a jack kings queens i mean he could have us just destroyed but you're gonna go for it here a little bluff ski all right that's not ideal he called large size on turn right so let's figure out he has offsuit combos what does he have here huh 
He could have pocket aces. Ace jack, that doesn't do anything. I think I gotta go for it. Mm -hmm. I think I have to go for this one. Yeah, we're gonna bluff this one. If he doesn't have a spade, it's hard call. So if for him, you know, he doesn't have to have a spade. Hard call. And if he has a full house or whatever, we're just dead. There's a whole bunch of hands I can have here. Oh, fuck, he has a full house. Okay, whatever. Silly me. Okay, fine, take it. You caught me. You caught me. Caught me bluffing. Oh, well. I'm still happy with how I played it, frankly. Considering the range of hands, it continues on flop. A lot of it's going to be a jack. King, ace jack, king jack, queen jack. Jack 10, right? Over pairs. So when that ace of spades comes after I raise flop, I don't have a lot of bluffs here. I happen to have one of the ones that I have, which is a little pair of threes without a spade. Uh, and once we're there, as played, we're pretty much, no, we are absolute bottom of our range. So general concept when it comes to poker theory is when you look at your range, you have the top end, which is the hands you bet, and then the bottom end, which is the hands you bet. And generally speaking, the ones in the middle are the ones that you're more cautious with, right? So you're polarized. Your big bets are going to be nutted, or they're going to be nodded, nada, nodded. <laughs> and this one, in this case, we were there's no hands we have worse than that that get to the river. So, as a general rule, you know you want to bluff the absolute bottom part of your range. Not always, because blocker effects matter. Having blockers that increase the chance that your bluff's going to get through is valuable. How many actual chips was that? Like 3k off of 25. No big deal. Still have 220 bigs. No big deal, y'all. Mm. Yesterday, I was very tired. Yesterday, I was tired. Uh, kill Thanatos. It's your volume. Everybody, I've been doing this stream every day. Volume hasn't changed. The volume is good. So you want to check your side because the volume's good. Everyone's happy with it. Uh, uh, uh. John Sparks, how do you change your chips from money to blinds? You just click on it. It's that simple. Boom. See, there's money. There's blinds. Easy peasy. So I'm going to take a look at that hand. Oh, that should, yeah, because I remember I wanted to do a lot of homework while I'm playing here. I'm going to take a look at that hand and just get from a GTO perspective what the situation. Okay, so we're going to take, take two pictures. That's picture one of the board. And this is picture two, the action. All right. So what I'll do is I'll take these screenshots. Okay, and then I'm gonna run the hands. Well, I don't know. You can that one's a little difficult because it's deep, but it's fine anyway. I'm gonna run the hands, and get a sense of what, in theory, you do there with the two threes, and I'll bet a, I'll bet a pretty penny that it bluffs. I think if I have the three of spades there, for example, then that's like middle of range. I make a flush. Then I would check that one, but because I don't, go ahead and bet. Hmm. Hmm. So these raises are coming from very early positions. It's only been a couple hands, but I'm actually just gonna fold the nines. Just because we're you know, respecting under the gun, under the gun plus one. Under the gun is supposed to be a pretty strong range. If this player is re-raising, well, it's nines don't play that well, right? Three ways, especially. It could get it could get re-raised behind too. See? It just did. We got a four bet. Got a we gotta respect some under the gun raises. The ranges are tighter. As they should be. What was the flop? Did we flop a nine? Nope. Alright, so LaBelle. Make a little note there, or just, you know, he three bet under the gun plus one. Alright, didn't have aces. Didn't have kings. 
so. He was three betting a, who knows, but not nutted hand in a spot. You see the numbers on top of our heads, the money amounts? It says 125 bucks on my head. That means if you knock me out, right, or you knock out one of the players, you get $125 added, real money, you get that. And then half of that will go on your head. So then your, your bounty is worth more. So it'd be like 180 something. What's up, Eric Clifford? Morning. Morning, top of the morning to you. Daniel Puntianu. <laughs> okay, buddy. It's funny. I like it. Maybe I'll go with that. place did I get in the 5k 6 max? We came 19th. We had uh, 19th. We came 19th. I had a really we had like 18, 19 bigs with king 9 of diamonds raised before the flop. The big blind called. It came queen 9, 3 with two diamonds. So beautiful fucking flop. A pair of 9s, a king, flush draw. Uh, the big blind had queen 9 though. and So we needed a king or a diamond. Neither came to fruition a lot of players in this shin day we got 1200 oh i also set up a prop bet last longer guys as i've been doing we got 26 people in it okay 26 players for 100 bucks a pop that amount 500 What's that? when does the day two start you got in lately oh the day two that'll be sunday for the Millie, um, the Millie Maker. So that was a tough spot. If I win that pot, it's like a coin flip. Basically, even though he has top two. Like nine, 12 outs with two to come. Oh, and back doors, right? Because I can ha catch 10 jack as well. If you are experiencing low volume, that is on your end, I promise. Everything's been the same the entire stream, okay? The only people I'm seeing say that, right, are people on YouTube, and I haven't touched anything. So maybe it's a YouTube thing or whatever, but the vo some people saying volume is completely fine. So most of you, you know, I don't know what to tell you. Some of you are going to have issues, but I don't, I don't know. It's I'm not going to mess with it because it's been good. I've been streaming every day, having no issues. Maybe it's a temporary thing. Maybe it's because my voice is lower today. You know, I had a couple drinks last night, some white wine. Got into a Twitter beef yesterday. 
checking it out. Really silly. Silly. <laughs> this is one guy who just says the most stupid shit all the time to get a reaction. I guess it works. You got me. All right, we're going today with a hoodie. We got Poker as War hoodie. Take a look. This is from the Dual Brunson collection, which you can find on Contenders Clothing. Poker is War. I had another hoodie like this that was comfy that said the nuts on it. And that's the one that we gave to the homeless guy who, he didn't want money, but he wanted my hoodie. So I gave him the hoodie. Thank you, Spencer Davies. I'm glad to hear you're learning stuff. Will do, Bobby Winger. I did mention that we're getting a new house, Bruce Voigt. We are. We are. Actually, I'm going to make a send a message and find out the latest on the situation because we got to move the money to there, to there, to that, you know, a lot of things. And we have a closing date, so. Okay. Mm. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Are you allowed multiple entries? In this tournament, there are two re-entries. You get two re-entries. If you bust, you can rebuy. But we have a lot of time for late red. You see there's 230 in the corner there. That's the number of minutes available for late red. Public housing, of course, you don't want to get short early, but we're not short, right? Like, oh, yeah, so I didn't even notice, but Jimmy busted a player. Who did he bust? I guess that's he, where my D is. So now you can see Jimmy over here, player we're looking at, Jimmy 109. Jimmy 109, if you look on top of Jimmy 109's head, it says $187.50. So if you knock out Jimmy, because Jimmy's already banked 125, so he's got 125 in his pocket, right? Then half of the uh, remainder goes on his head. Sorry, Rod Clark. I don't know what to tell you about the sizes. I, I, yeah, I don't I mean to do with that, but I, I hear you. We'll try to work on that. Maybe we'll get you some big, bigger sizes. Up to 3X. What is 3X? 3 extra large? I don't know. Dev Kumar... Alawat from India. Will you visit there one day? One day. One day, maybe. Bum, 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 bum. Dun, dun, do, do, dun, 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 dun. So we ran an early bluff. Oh, that we did. Ran a bluff. Boom, boom, boom. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Everyone's like, volume is fine, volume is fine. Volume is low. Volume is fine, volume is fine, volume is fine. Volume is low. It's like it's 8 to 1 in the chat I'm, I'm reading. So we're not moving nothing. Keeping it as is. We got a few more days. Well, how, what do we have here? So, hold on. Hmm. 
I think when I sit back like here, volume's low, but if I go up in here, hello, hello, hello everyone, how are you doing today? <laughs> hey Daniel, what does a number mean on the left side of your cards? This That represents, you see 27 under swingy, 11 here, and then when you click over the names, hold on, you see a more robust thing. So the 27 number, that represents the VPIP. Okay, so that's what the number is. What is VPIP? It stands for voluntarily put in pot. What does that mean? It's the percentage of hands where you put chips in pre-flop, okay? So if you fold, that's a no. Say if you, you've got dealt 10 hands, right, and you played two of them, then your VPIP would be 20%, right? Two played, eight not played. PFR, when you click on it, what is PFR? This gives you little stats. PFR means how often when they played, hold on. So let's look at Sphinx Jack. So, oh, he's at 25. So PFR represents how often when they played, they raised before the flop, okay? So for, obviously it's early, but this player is raised every time. That's the only hands they played is when they raised coming in. What is ATS? An ATS is attempts to steal. So that is when you're first in, in the cutoff, the button or the small blind, and you come in with a raise, right? Three bet percentage. When you're facing a raise, how often are you three betting, right? Um, you can't see my stats because they, they're on a pop-out. I don't want to tell you anyway, but you use these stats to help you make uh, decisions. Obviously, the sample size matters. This has only been 11 hands, right? So we don't have a lot. You see our percentage is eight. That's the lowest of the table. We had the two threes and that's it. We are going to take a flop here with the eight, nine of diamonds. It's a good spot against an under the gun raise. Okay, Jordan Jenkins. Agreed, but I mean, Yeah, that's a that's a favorable flop if I do say so. Now this is a flop that the big blind. I have kind of a range advantage here because um, I'm gonna have a lot more of these little little hands in the under the gun razor or the small blind will. So I'm gonna come. Actually, I'm gonna come with 40 percent. 40 percent on this board. We'll obviously be happy to get it in here, right? We have top pair could be good. If not, we have all these. We have a flush draw. We have backdoor stuff. Somebody else could have a bigger flush draw. That's a good spot. So if he has ace five is the only hand we're really worried about. We're coming with another 40% here. Interesting. If he has, so now, like, think about it. If he has kings here, he's never going to raise me. He's got to be worried. I would expect if he raises here, he has a hand like ace five of spades. Could have nine ten suited, but we block a nine. It's a little less likely. But ace five of spades is reasonable. Question is, what do we do if he calls? Do we bluff? Probably not, because we have showdown value. Well, that's a diamond. Ugh. Maybe he'll bluff at the diamond. I'm gonna go really small. I'm gonna go quarter pot, and if he raises, call. We're going quarter pot, actually inducing. I want him to raise with some worse hands. If he has a five, you know, or if he has 9-10. If he has a flush, we're just screwed. It is what it is. I also want to get some loose calls from big pairs and things like that. All right, take it down. So it'll be interesting. What did he have there? Did he have, like, 10s? Did he have queens? Did he have jacks? I'm not entirely sure. But if the river was a blank, then we would have been in a tough spot to decide, are we going to bluff? Or are we just going to hope that the 9, the 8s are good? It would have been a difficult, interesting decision. Interessant. Kyle Need says, you don't get the whole bounty, you get half to your account. No, no, When you see, I figured this out. If you bust Jimmy, right, right now, for 187 bucks, you win 187 bucks. Half of that would go on your head. But you get whatever it says on top, you actually bank that amount. What else we got for tournaments? I want to take a look here. A lot of millionaire makers. A lot of heats. We're already through. Could play more of them if we wanted to. What do we got? September 9th. We got September. We got an $800 deep stack. 
Hold on, I think there's a... Oh no, the Beat the Pros already happened. I'm going to look in my phone because I know I had all the turnings listed in here. The Skedge. So yeah, tomorrow... Oh no, not tomorrow. Tomorrow's a day off. Probably. I'll play some Russian Cash if you haven't played. We do uh, Russian Cash Wednesday and Fridays while I'm here in town. And basically it's like really fast cash game poker. You play different PLO or Hold'em. And they'll do like splash pot drops of chips. Extra chips every once in a while at random times. Those are fun to fight for and they can be big. They can be small. I'm going to come with a quarter pot bet. Deny some equity. This is a board we absolutely can represent. We're going to call here with a lot of a king or queen X. Right? So we can go ahead and bet small. If, if LaBelle has like A7, might just fold. Um, with the check call... I mean, we still beat Ace-10, we beat Ace-Jack. We don't beat a King or a Queen. A little thin to, to, to deny equity with this. So we're just going to just give him the free card. River is a 7. Okay, so if he bets here, he could still have Jack-10, Jack-9, Ace-10, Ace-Jack, whatever. He could have a pair or two of, like, 8s, but I'm not going to bluff this. I'm going to just hope that he has Ace-High. King-High. All right, no, he has a King. Never mind. <laughs> That's good. It's fine. No big deal. Small stab on the flop. Didn't materialize. Thank you, Andres Gonzalez. This is going to be a three-bettable hand against the player who's playing a decent amount of pots. I'm going to take it to eight. Let's see, he's at 30, the 31 number, right? 31%. We've seen him be opening a decent amount. Obviously, again, small sample size, but we have a good hand to three-bet with as a bluff. These little ace suited ace wheel cards play really nice. You block aces. So there's six combinations of aces you could have, right? Well, we have one, so that blocks three of them. So now we have a pair of fours and a backdoor flush draw. I think I can call a check raise here. I'm going to go ahead and see bet this flop with the backdoor flush draw, the pair of fours. I'm going to try to put some pressure on a hand like two sixes, two sevens. Obviously, if he has a king or a ten, I expect him to peel. If he has a gut shot, Ace, queen, ace, jack, queen, jack, straight draw. All right. Okay, now we still have showdown equity, right? Um, do we want to try to move sixes, sevens, eights, nines out of the way? I don't think so. I think we'll just go ahead and take the free card. Check. River's a three. All right. So, as I said, we beat ace, queen, ace, jack, queen, jack. And we beat some other heart hands, like, you know, ace, nine of hearts, ace, eight of hearts, eight, nine of hearts, seven, eight of hearts. So that's the hands we beat. He's checking. All right. That's not good news for us, probably, because it means he has showdown value. So I think we're going to lose this one, but we can't really bluff now. Be a little silly. Ace Jack. All right. We don't need to bluff. Ha ha. There we go. Sweet. I'll take it. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Let me see. So, tomorrow, as I said, will be a day off. And then Saturday, we have an $800 ultra deep stack, no limit. All right? And then Sunday is a fun day. Oh, wait. So, wait. Here we go. Today's Thursday, so 7th. 8th is Friday. 9th is Saturday. Okay, so the secret bounty tournament is on Sunday. And then the Millie Maker heat the or the, the day two is on the 11th so that's on monday and then on tuesday we've got the short deck championship it's a 5k very excited to play that one thank you uh vibe have roy india he says i'm an inspiration love from india appreciate you buddy appreciate you how did i place in the 5k tournament I came 19th place gordos okay so some fun tournaments coming up we've got I guess one, two, three, four left after this one. And then we go back to Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Superstar. Yes, I'm on hotel Wi-Fi, and it's been fantastic. We haven't had any drops. It's been good. Really pleasantly surprised. Do I live in a hotel? Does anyone? Like, live? No, I'm in a hotel. Don't live here. I'm just here for a couple weeks. Playing the online shindigs. The shindigs. We got 26 runners in the last longer. It's going to pay four spots. Nice. Set up a fun little... This software is so cool, guys. You can do so many things. Like I said, you can do, for tournaments, you can do prop bets. Where you, if let's say you and your friends, you're going to play a tournament, you want to do like a last longer for 100 bucks on the side. You can do that within the software. It tracks it for you. You can look at it. You can also open it up to whoever if you want. Or you can keep it private for your friends. And then you can set up the prize pool however you want. You can make it a winner take all. You can do pay 10%, pay 15%. It gives you all the tools to create sort of a fun game within the game you know for you and your friends or whoever thank you robert walker appreciate it hope you're learning stuff hope you're learning a few tricks tricks of the trade mm -hmm. okay Uh, Public House gives me every day. He says, I hope you're playing well today and not sucking as juice. <laughs> Doing my best. Salutari din Romania. Parla italiano, Francesco Brillanti. No, io, io non parlo italiano. Compre, comprendo un poquito, un, po, un poco, un poco. I always fucking mix Spanish with Italian. Hey, Keith Mc McNa McCabe. I don't know about sit and goes necessarily, but I'll tell you what. We got like so many tournaments and small tournaments, different things. You've also got, um, you know, the, the flip and goes. You got, uh, what else? You got Russian cash. There's a whole bunch of stuff we got. A lot of options, a lot of things to play. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Early stages of the tourney, of the tournament. Still, everyone just kind of get. What do we start? We start with 25k in chips, and look at that. We're actually ahead, even though we lost that first pot. We start with 25. We got 25.4. Now, what you'll notice, people go, "What happened to your big blinds? You might, you lose a pot." No, as the blinds go up, when you play in big blinds, your big blinds go down, right? So let's say you had uh, 100 big blinds, and then the level doubles, the blinds double. Well, now you only have 50, right? You didn't lose a hand. You didn't lose anything. You just, the blinds went up, so you have less of them. Hmm. Paler. Yeah, re-raising with Ace-4 suited is definitely a thing. So if you're not doing that, you're not bluffing enough, probably. So you want it when you're 3-betting, right? When you 3-bet people, if you only do it with Aces, Kings, Ace, King, Queens, Jacks, um... You're, you're very become easy to read so you have to have some bluffs okay ace suited wheel cards are the best bluff candidates the reason for that is you have an ace which means there are less chance that they have aces you cut them in half there are six different combinations of aces when you have an ace it cuts to three also a lot of really strong hands like ace king ace queen well you block those too you cut down the number of combos there's 16 combinations of ace king if you have one of the aces that leaves 12 Three aces times four kings, right? So, you're, yeah. Here's a hand I can three bet too, by the way. This one plays pretty well post-flop. Oh, we got three bet from the button. I'm going to actually four bet this hand. I'm going to go to... I'm going to three bet this one. Against the player who's been pretty frisky, as you can see. He's three betting high, playing a lot of hands um, from Belgium. And the raises are coming. See, if this was under the gun, under the gun plus one, I would have just folded. But the cutoff here, a really wide opener, 38%, and then a 
pretty, you know, aggro player on the button is three betting. So now we have a, a hand that plays pretty well. Obviously, if he four bets, we're not happy about it. But you can't be scared all the time of like, oh, what if they... Oh, five, I'm saying if he five bets. If he five bets, we got problems. We'll just fold. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay, let's see. Oh, my God. <laughs> what a... <laughs> I would have flopped the straight. Oh, who knows? Maybe he had aces. Probably had eight. He must have had a real hand there. So if he had aces or kings, maybe the board would have paired. We saved ourselves. All right. What do we got now? All right. I'm happy with the play. You know, I can't see their faces when you play online. So you just got to go based on some, you know, theoretical things. And these guys are the two most aggressive players. That's the second time we've seen who was who four bet, though. He raised under the gun, got three bet by LaBelle and four bet. And in this case, it was two bet, three bet, I four bet. Um, all right, we're going to go ahead and raise this one, too. Raising the same hand. Similar situation with, you know, the loosest... Again, small sample, but the loosest opener. Okay, this time we're going to win it. Would have flopped the queen. Who is who, huh? Who is who going ham? So if you look, who is who... Hold on, I'll click over who's who. If you see one thing, hold on, let me fold this one first. So let's look at who is who. It's only a few hands, but let's look at who is who. Look at ATS. You see the ATS? Again, small sample, but that means 100% of the opportunities he's had to steal, he's taken it. 100%. Z-pip is quite high, 35. 3-bet is quite high, 23%. So against that, you definitely want to 4-bet some, some bluffs. And Queen Jack's a decent bluff. We block pocket queens. We block pocket jacks, of course. And, I mean, I don't know. It is what it is. Back in that bag again. So we've been playing pretty aggressive ourselves. Not playing a ton of hands. But we've had a few th a three bet. We had a cold four bet. Here's ace king suited now. Okay, so... We just had a couple three bets of re-raises in a row. Maybe now we've set up an image. People might think we're doing it a little lighter. It's not a bad thing. Now we got a hand that we'll go with. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to make it. We're going to raise this one as well. All right, this one's going to go to... And of course, if we get four bet this time by anybody, we're just gonna go with it. I'm not in the business of folding ace king suited, hundred big blinds deep, early stages of a tournament. You know, there's literally six possible. You know, only three combos of aces that have us screwed, even against kings. Well, at least we have that ace out, right? And we have spades. So this is a hand I'll go with. Won't love it if this one of the blinds four bets. Oh shit! So against that, it's problematic big time but we gotta we're gonna gamble i'm not i didn't come all this way to i didn't come all this far just to come this far so it's 14 more yeah hopefully we have just the same hand and i got a free roll with the suit or he has queens or jacks i'm not folding let's go five bet jam i was thinking that's good oh was this okay what do you got Queens. Okay, so it's the classic confrontation. It's a flip. We need an ace or a king. All right, still need an ace or a king. Still need an ace or a king. That's not a one. Make a flush? Nope. All right, well, we lost a flip for a big pot, and now we'll rebuy. Okay, no big deal. No biggie. It was a fair fight. We'll be back in action shortly. There we go. All right, bullet two. Bullet one didn't go so great, but I'm very happy with all the plays we made. Very happy. Just didn't work out. Okay, so new table. Uh, I'm gonna flat this one in the blind. Mm -mm -mm. It was a good opportunity to get some chips. If not, we rebuy. I'm out of the last longer though, damn. <laughs> I totally forgot, oh well. I think I might be the first one out. Oh, second one out. It's all right. I've done good in those. 
It's not today. All right, so he's betting six. He's betting full pot. I would have peeled against small with some backdoor stuff, but not, we're, gonna, we're not going to mess with the full pot. Okay. Bob Roy, are you friends with Tony G? What do you think of him? Yeah, I think I'm. Fr I would consider myself friendly with Toji, Tony G. Would have been a nice, big, juicy pot if we won that Ace King suited, right? We would have had heaps. Na, 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 na. I don't know on the weekend. Stand up. Hey. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. All right, under the gun raise. We're deep enough. I think to play this in the cutoff. A little 7 8 suited action. Don't mind if I do. All right, we got a flush draw. Um, on this board, Jackson has a much stronger range advantage, right? Because we don't have aces, kings, or queens, or whatever. So he's checking. He's supposed to be betting this flop a lot. Um, I'm not going to get check raised. I'm going to check back just because my range has to check here a lot. So I'm going to do that. And now an ace comes. Huh. So what we'll do here is we'll call a bet that's reasonable size. And then if he checks river, we'll go ahead and bluff. And we'll try to represent an ace. At least checking again. Stand up. Stand up. Dang. So I'm going to check it again. Oh, we missed. Dang. Keep out. If he checks this river, I might have to bluff it. Go for two-thirds pot. Try to get... Well, fuck. He's just got, like... He's not supposed to have king high, queen high, jack high. You're supposed to bet these three streets. I'm just going to give up. King, queen. All right. Well, could have won that one, but he was supposed to bet the flop. Might have folded. I mean, I, I guess he would have folded river, but it just wasn't a very believable story from my perspective. Checking flop, checking turn, and all of a sudden now I'm betting. Like, what am I saying that I have, right? I hit a nine, you know, betting a small pair. Like, I just check back an ace? That's possible. Yeah. Just didn't feel like I had a spot there where... Believable story. Of course, I could have bet flop. But if I bet flop, he's going to peel anyway because he had the king of hearts. He would have check called. And then on the turn, probably goes check, check, and I just lose a little more because I'm not going to bluff that one either. Add it up, add it up, bank roll, slow roll, ace so. Come in with a raise, 2.5. All right, against the cutoff call. This guy, what is he playing? 31, 47% of hands. I'm going to actually check call. All right, he checked it back. I'm gonna do a meme and I'm gonna do a meme. I'm gonna actually check one more time. But this is the, with this intention. Oh fuck, that's not a good card. However, however, I don't know that he has a lot of jack. Maybe king jack, ace jack, some ace suiteds. He might have like ace four spades or something like that. Fives any good? Sevens. Okay, could have that too. We got a bird out here in the wind. He's eating our seeds. I finally gave him some seeds. We give him french fries every day. Good bird, good bird.
Okay, so we lost that first pot. First keep flip. Yeah, I mean, you don't sweat it. Like, you, you know, you, you're gonna win some, you're gonna lose some on that first flip. It's not a spot where I'm ever gonna fold this early. There are situations where, you know, maybe later in a tournament when there's no rebuys left or, you know, in a spot like ICM where it's obvious the guy has a big hand, maybe it makes sense to fold there, but, you know, I'm not folding Ace King suited. Oh, that's interesting, Kartik Pilly. Ace King suited hearts, huh? Dun, dun, dun. Elias Manzano says, I'm always watching the streams and he's rebuying every time. The last stream, the very last stream, we played the 5K 6 Max, okay? We didn't rebuy. We came 19th. There was no rebuys. You rebuy if you bust. I mean, that's what everybody does. You know, and in four hours of play, levels get high, stacks get shorter. You're often going to be rebuying. Most people do. This isn't a Dean Eggs thing. I mean, there's nothing I did there that is like, oh, you know, loosey-goosey. Where is Daniel reading comments? Asks a modus operandus. I'm reading all the comments from all the websites. All right, we're going to go ahead and three bet this one too. 9.2. Your three bet sizing in position can be smaller. Out of position, you need to come a little heavier. You don't want to give people a very, very easy opportunity to play, in, play a pot in position against you. So, you know, in position, I might have made this like eight out of position. Could probably go even more than this. Hope he doesn't 4-bet. That'd be annoying. Okay, he just called. Okay, that's top pair for us. Uh, I think this is just a quarter pot lead. Quarter pot, 27% to be precise. He folded. Okay, sweet. Picked up a nice little pot. Hit a nice little flop with the top pair. Ace kicker. Sean FF fails. Do you ever think you're overthinking things? No, I'm just thinking. <laughs> you have to think, you know? That's that's the beauty of the game. You have to think about every spot, you know, and all the depths of what different things you can do. But overthink? I don't think I'm doing that at all. Can't wait for the short deck. We got, so basically, if you play the Millie Maker, guys, you have an opportunity to win a package for like 11 night stay at a suite at a beautiful, at the Cove uh, in Bahamas. So those heats are running all the time. There's one going right now. They're going around the clock. Day two will be on Monday. So make sure you get yourself in that. Give yourself a chance to play in Bahamas, the Millie Maker with a free ride. Glad this bird likes the seeds. The other bird was like, mm -mm, I want fries, bro. Give him, try to give him brew, blueberries. Nah. He's like, give me, give me pizza or whatever. Give me bread. Give me french fries. Bingo, bango, bongo, Chris Cormier. Can't, can't help you with that one.
French fries are my favorite vegetable. Limpin' is pimpin', that's what's up. Poker is war. Contender's clothing, get yourself one. Get yourself a Contender's clothing hoodie. Why not? Alright, what do we got in chips? We got 26k. On bullet number two. Had that nice big flip situation. Dace King suited against Queens. Came out on the wrong end of that one. Kind of like those spots, you know, when there's a rebuy tournament. Because I'm like, the goal here for me is, you know, you, you want to build up a nice big stack. So. Good spot for it. But, um. Andrew Tyler says, why not flat the 4-bet with Ace-King suited in position? Do people really 4-bet bluff in a 500 ton? 100% they will 4-bet and even 5-bet bluff. This happens quite well. Yeah. No, he could have 5-bet bluff. I mean, I don't know the player very well, right? But, you know, sometimes they might think Ace-Queen is good. Sometimes they're just going to have jacks or 10s. And the thing is, is if they have Queens, jacks, or 10s, and they show me them, like if he showed me the Queens, I mean, obviously then I would flat because he could play the hand face up. But I'm not folding to like, those because you're getting extra there's already dead money in there there's a lot of dead money so you're getting a price so let's say you have 48 percent equity or whatever you're getting better than even money because of all the dead money um but why not flat well partly it's you know we're looking to build a stack as i was saying oh well, we got an all in for nine with a bounty situation not that we care but i'm just gonna call anyway Everyone's going to want to go for that bounty. It's 125 bucks. $125. 125 bucks. We put a bound, bigger bounty on our head. I wonder if anyone's going to try to squeeze me. Try to go for the double bounty. I will fold if somebody squeezes behind. At this stage early on... 10 big blinds. You could have a wide range of hands. Ace-8 suited does okay. If this was later, like in an ICM spot, I probably would have folded. Or if, let's say, I had 20 big blinds myself only, I might have... Oh, fuck. All in? Do I want to gamble here and try to bust two guys? I think I do. All right. So we got to call 50 to win 60, 70, 80. So it's... 50-ish to win 80. Okay, 1.6 to 1. Pretty close. Gamble. Oh, he has these kings. Ooh, fuck. All right, well, we need spades then, or an 8. Okay, I'll take a 6 for a chop. Six! Chop it up. So we split the bounty, or does he get the bounty? No, I think I get the bounty. I'll take it. Did I get the bounty? Oh, we split the bounty. Okay. I thought maybe I got the bounty because I had more chips. But that's cool. So now you notice we got 156 bucks on our head. And we banked a little bit of money. Hunter R. Jay Tay said, I can't ask, but do you have any plans to play a cash game with someone like Alex Botez? Maybe. Alex, maybe in the future. We'll see. What is the 125 above the avatars? That is the bounty. We all have bounties on our head. Now mine is worth a little bit more. You bust me, you get 156 bucks. Right off the top. What did we have on Jackson? 37... So we had to call 48 to win. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, buddy, I got nothing left for you. I mean, just eat the seeds. He's chilling out here like I'm going to give him something, but... I hear you, bud. See, he's yelling at me now. 
Do you hear that? I got nothing. Maybe later, after she gets lunch. Come back in an hour. We'll get you some french fries. Okay, bud? He wants better food. He's over the seeds. Why aren't you streaming on YouTube today? I am streaming on YouTube today. What do you mean? I'm streaming everywhere. All the places. What does BB stand for? BB stands for big blinds. That is the number of big blinds that you have. You can play in money like that, or you can click on the button and just make it easier on yourself and play in big blinds. Thank you, Jacob Park. I'm gonna go on break here in about two minutes. I'm gonna do a post-coffee brushing of the tea, you know? It's always good to do it after coffee rather than before, my, my opinion. Oh my god, he's fucking starving. He just was like going, oh, 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 oh. I got nothing for you though, really. He's like, he comes here every day. I don't know if it's the same guy. We call him Stu. <laughs> I think she calls him Stu. No, Soren Bacard. I don't think about the ranges ahead of me because they could be a lot of different hands. Not really. I don't know. It's a complicated answer, but here we go. We got the 10 7, the hand we live for. 10 7 offsuit. A favorite of mine. We're up against a third pot bet. I'm going to peel one time. And we've got a gut shot and a pair of 10s. We beat a hand like two sixes. All right, there, we've made the straight. All right, we have no bluffs here. We're gonna go with the patented one chip bet. One chip with the seven. Oh, he doesn't even call. Okay, cool. All right, you know you wanna call one chip, huh? Okay, buddy, you must have had a real good hand there. King high. King with a buff at it. 10-7, I told you, never lose. Minimum two pair of straight. Never lose with that hand. Give me all your love. Give me all your love. I think it's break time. I wish I could give this guy something to eat, but I got nothing. Nothing here. We're giving him all. All the food he ate already. Be right back.
deer seeds now. You have no food. Okay, time to order some food too, right? I think it's about that time. <coughs> Anthony Lemidus, yeah, the Queen 10 offsuit, that's a fold for sure. Yeah, that was a fold. Correct. All right, let's see. Well, we're gonna order food today. Hopefully it doesn't take us as long. I'm looking for sandwichy stuff. Some kind of sandwich, I feel like. Let's see what we got here. What do we got here? Let's look for what we can do for a sandwich. That's not true, Rafi Abaj. You don't want to play Queen 10 offsuit in that spot against a raise. In lower stakes, it's probably worse. True story. Vegan cafe. Hmm. We got some stuff here. Whoa. Vegan pizza bagel. is so I'm gonna pass try a different place today so each bounty right on your head it starts with well I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna explain it right now all right we got a raise and a flat we're gonna squeeze here to 8.2 Smaller a little bit. Got some loosey goosey players so far. 35. Well, we are too with 35, but. I'm gonna three bet this hand from the button. Put Jackson to the test. He folded. Alright, what about Krasimir Yankov? Krasimir Yankov from Macedonia. Two million earnings. He calls. Okay. Now on this flop, we're gonna go with a quarter pot bet. Quarter pot is bet, 27%. A little extra juice, a little extra gravy. Decent flop for us. We're not really, what are we worried about? We don't, we're not worried about aces, kings, or queens. We're worried a little bit about jack 10. But we have king, jack, queen, jack really in bad shape. We've got eight, nine. We're going to go for a larger bet now on that turn card. Two thirds pot, setting up a river jam. Two-thirds pot, we'll get the pot to about 70 or so, and that's about a pot size bet. We can just jam. For He's only got 75 total, so. All right, what is he going to have here? If he has King Jack, which is our, what do we hope, obviously he could have a 10-2, but a 10 is a tougher call. All right, if he has his, if he has his bead here, we're just fucked, but we're not, we're not going to not put it all in. Have to put it all in. If he has his beat, he has his beat. Take a second here. All you can eat. I'm well, just hoping to target King Jack, Queen Jack, or maybe a stubborn 10. 
He has king 10, queen 10, and decides to come. What does he call with? 9, 10. Okay. We got the stubborn call. We got the bounty. Take it down. There you go. Very nice. That's a big pot. And we won a bounty. Okay, so we're up to two. We got a nice little big fat bounty on our head now. 218 bucks. We're big pimping on chips. With We doubled our stack. There you go. All right, what was I looking at for food? Did the birdie leave? No, he's still here. He still thinks I got, I got nothing for him. we got planted love what's this planted love it is a reason so something da, 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 da. planted love it is a reason Guy, buddy, I don't know what to tell you. I got no food for you right now. I mean, I'm ordering. What do you want? Let me tell the bird. I'm talking to a bird. Is that weird? We have not ordered yet. I order from that chickpea place every day. What is this? Terra V Burger. <clears throat> no, I don't want flaming sauce. Is this place? No. Oh, whoa. Shit, maybe it was okay. I got nothing, bro. There's really nothing I got. I got fruit in here, but he doesn't want fruit. Try to throw him fucking blueberries. He don't want that. I mean, oh, let's get with it. Let's get a pizza. What do you think of that? Like a pepperoni, vegan pepperoni pizza. Yeah, that will work. I'm, I'm down for that. A little hangover food. Vegan mozzarella, artichoke hearts. No, I want the pepperoni thing. Plant based pepperoni. Tomato sauce, vegan mozzarella, green peppers, plant based mushrooms, and red onions. Yes. Vegan deluxe. We're going to get a pizza. Small, medium, or large? Let's go with a small. No, medium. Fuck. Choose up to one. I don't want to substitute my crust. I'm good with that. Okay. Choose your done level. Regular done. We can blot together. Okay, so we're gonna get a pizza. Why not? A vegan deluxe tomato sauce. That's reasonable. Pizza it is. We're going with a pizza day. This bird, man, he won't find us. I feel so guilty. We feed him every day, but I got no food for him. Okay, what am I doing here? Go to checkout. No thanks. Wow, quick order. 
comes fast. Edit tip, custom tip, place order, confirm. Grab the phone so I have it. This poor bird, I don't know, man. Birds are gonna be like, oh, I'm not coming back to your house anymore if you don't give me food. She'll be sad. She likes when the birds come every day. Oh, maybe I'll try, does he want cereal? Oh, he wouldn't want, maybe he would. Chocolate though, they can't have chocolate. Got an ace three off. All right, I'll lay this one down, Honka, just for you. Just for you, would have flopped an ace, and I folded. We're doing good now in chips, right? We had that unlucky first bullet with, well, whatever, ace king suit against queens, but we got paid. We got paid, and Krasimir's back. How did that happen? Wow, what are the odds? He busted and came back to the same seat. Give him some Catalina Crunch. If he likes it. Or does he? If he likes it. Okay. We gave him something. He's going with a little breakfast cereal. <laughs> a little Catalina Crunch. Yeah birds too all right at least we gave him something feel good about it now eat it up eat it up enjoy bon appetit bon appetit I do have a pet. We have, we have like this one. I, we, she, we always like to believe it's the same seagull. I think it might be because I think they're smart enough to know like where they get food from. But we sometimes we see two, two of them show up. I found this on the web. Why does that happen? My watch just talks to me sometimes. All right, so the bounty works like this, guys. Okay. Whatever you, if you bust the player that says 125 over their head, you get $125. You get the full amount. Half of that bounty, half of that number is also added to your head, okay? If you end up winning the tournament, you keep all the money that's on your head, too. You want more? Let's see. Oh, no, he's still got some. Are you done with the cereal? He's eating the seeds now. I'm doing my best for you, bud. I'm going with what I got. Optimus Prime. You have to try... There's some newer vegan cheeses that are incredible. Like, different companies make them. It just depends which ones you try. So, this one company called Vivo Life, I think, they make the best cheese. Melts good, tastes good got all the things but yeah some are shit of course but some are really really good now you just probably haven't had some of the good stuff like the there's yeah i won't go over it but did you eat it all there's still some there I think he's eating the seeds for real he's like all right I don't, I don't. he's got he's got chia seed all over his beak because i put chia seed out there yeah vegan pepperoni is fucking amazing by the way like i can make it at home it's fantastic Mori, the can with the 10-9 suited, it actually makes sense for theoretical call because 10-9, he doesn't block king-queen or ace-queen or ace-king, right? So, uh, no, I don't, Hunka. 
you know. Um, yeah, so if you're ever going to call there, having a, like a not a queen, king, or an ace is a good thing. Joseph Alvarado, there is a easily made vegan cheese. It's very easy. I can make it myself. Uh, I've made some vegan cheeses before. And basically their base is nuts. So if you take cashews, for example, right? Uh, cashew cheese. You can basically take cashews, soak them for 24 hours, blend them up, add some nutritional yeast, some different spices, this sort of stuff. You know, you can cook it on a pan or whatever, and then you can sort of make like a cheesy-like thing. Um, a lot of different ways to make cheese. A lot, but the base is typically going to be a nut. You can make tofu. You can make cheese out of tofu. You can make cheese out of a lot of things, but nut cheese is probably the best one. Yeah, oh, that's perfect. Pizza's perfect. They love fucking pizza. I'll get you pizza if you can wait one hour. Pizza. He's done with that. He don't really like it. He ate a few of them, but he's like, nah, I think I'm good. King Jack of Spades. Don't mind if I do. I will give the if the birds he, the bird will come back, or maybe he'll just stay the entire time until the pizza comes. Do you know pizza's coming? Are you you're aware, huh? He knows. He's like I, I smell pizza in your in your face. Okay, so we've been three bet. Don't love it, but we are suited. We have a small re-raise against the pretty aggressive player here. Gonna take a flop with it. See what develops. Got backdoor spades. We have backdoor spades. So against a small bet we can call. Peel. Try to catch a king jack or a spade. Although some of those could be problematic. That's a little bit more than a small bet. Three into eight. It's like 38% pot. Ah. Just gonna, I'm not even going to peel. Okay. Well, we would have made a straight. <laughs> On the board. We got an ace three suited. Go ahead. Raise again. Oh, honey, that may not be my call. 2023 best player from China. Has 146k in winnings. Sick duck. Calling. Under the gun plus one. So right. Da -da 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 -da. All right, we got a pair of threes on a three on a monotone board. Could have the best hand. We're gonna go 2.1, about 20% pot. Very small bet. We're just gonna clear out the king jacks and stuff that don't have a club. Try to clear out a lot of hands. Obviously, anybody raises here, we're just gonna get out of the way. With four people in a pot, your bluffing frequency is gonna be lower. We got two calls, one from the small blind. Small blind's the least likely to have offsuit combos. The under the gun player plus one is more likely to have suit combos. So, so that could be like Craftsman might have like sixes or sevens or something like that. I'm just gonna give up here. We're not gonna we're not gonna try to plow this through without a club in our hand. But Krasimir is less likely to have offsuit hands. Why? Because he called a raise in the small blind. Sick duck if he's playing a hand. Okay, there's so that makes. Live to 100, Moradi Kane says. No, I haven't watched that, but I'll check that out. On Netflix? I'll check it out. Okay, so here, you know, he's representing flushes a lot. Suited combos, it just check called. Could also have a five. I'm not going to mess with it. It's a little too light to call. He could have had a flush there. He could have had fives. Ace five. Robo squared. I was in Wolverine. All right, did the bird leave? I think he left. He's over. He's over it. Yeah, I did. Um, I do remember being in the Wolverine movie. Fun little cameo. Why not eat the real thing? Because mm, I don't eat meat or cheese or dairy or anything like that. First of all, when you think of dairy, dairy is not. Like, for, well, well, I don't want to go down this road. But I just don't eat it because I'm a vegan. We'll just leave it there. Why? I don't want cheese. It's 
That sounds really gross to me. Like, that sounds nasty. <laughs> All right, we got a king, ten of spades. I'm gonna have to squeeze this one too. We are going to be squeezing to 8.2, folding to four bets. If Rick Zira does decide to four bet here, we will fold. Ideally, we'd like to see fold fold. We get one call from Honka, who's deep. You know, we can play. We, can, we have a decent hand to play a flop with. There's a king. So this is a really good board for the for the re-raiser pre, because I have all the ace king, the king king to ace ace. So I'm going to see bet almost always on this board. You know, normally second pair, you often want to check call sometimes, but like in this spot, um, with massive range advantage, I'm going to basically range bet. And there's a spade. So now we're really going to go for it. Now we're going to try to bluff him off of an ace. We're going to, or we're going to set up a, a river bluff off of an ace. Because he doesn't have ace king, right? He doesn't have ace ace, he doesn't have king king. So really just eight eight is the only hand we're, we're super worried about. Hmm. If he just has an ace, okay, sweet. So we got it through. And we also had outs too. But you understand the logic there? Um, because it was just a flat, right, from him on the button, we know he doesn't have ace king, aces or kings. Doesn't happen, right? He didn't re-raise at any point. So on an ace king, we can have that, right? This is an important thing about understanding range concepts. When when my range contains a lot of these nutted hands and his doesn't, that allows me to just play very aggressively in those spots. Where all we were worried about that he could have is 8-8. Eight, eight. That's it. The only hand we're worried about is three eights. Maybe ace eight suited. Um, we're gonna go to 7.7. Oh, 7.5. A little smaller on the button. He's a little shorter than 100 bigs. I really like how I'm playing, honestly. I feel good. Huh. This is a hand we're going to get it in. Just that simple. This is one we won't fold to four bets. We'll just put it in. If you got it, you got it, Jackson. All right, we got called. This time we are going to see bet. Small. Because we, again, have range advantage. Um, he can have a queen. He can have ace, queen, king, queen, queen, jack, queen, ten. He could have like eights, nines, sevens, which we might be able to apply pressure against. All right, we just win. How about that? And we would have made nothing much. I say running hot. Running hot. Uh, 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 uh. Sorry, Jackie Chung. There's light everywhere. Okay, I mean, if you can't see my handsome face, this is actually my favorite hand, 10 of clubs, 7 of diamonds. Just because it's my favorite hand doesn't mean I play stupid with it, though. We're doing good in this tournament now. Average is 80. We've got 140. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about there, Mike. You're outdated on your on your thoughts. Where do you get one of these hoodies? Right here. You get them at contendersclothing.com. Oh, birdie's back, buddy. If you can wait, if you can wait. Oh, that's the fat bird. This is a different bird. That's a big fatty bird. Not judging, just observing. Bird's got to eat. Okay, we've got a pair of kings now. We're going to come with 7.5 against the under the gun rays. This is one we'll obviously get in. I kind of would like for him to four bet this time. Shorty, he's got shorty, not short, but he's got what? Pretty close to average, actually. There is a really good flop.
so good that I'm gonna... No, I'm not gonna check here. Well, am I gonna check? No, I'm not gonna check. Because I'm really not checking this board a lot, right? So... Ah, fuck. Problem is, is when you have the top set, there's not much he can have to continue. But we're hoping to get some plays from nines or jack-10 suited, 9-10 suited. I don't know. Could have checked back. I don't think it would have mattered in that spot, but... Pretty nice to have top set there, eh? I am not vegetarian. I am full vegan. I don't eat cheese or dairy. But you do you. Listen, I'm not here to freaking preach. I'm just telling you what I do. Okay? How about that? Is that fair? That's how I eat. You eat how you eat. Such is life. guy's talking about. Boom, 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 boom. Mm, 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 mm. What are we looking at for time? I didn't even look. Okay. This dude will... Oh, wow. He's coming quick. He's coming fast. <laughs> All right, we got a good start here. We got a little bounty, little inflated bounty on our head. I kind of like that. Right now, nobody could bust this anyway. We have the chip lead at the table. We're sitting 121 out of 1,455 players. This fat bird's gonna love the pizza that's coming. <laughs> Look at the crust. Mm. All right, we got a king eight. Button open. Oh, we can call a min raise here. This is a flop we can bluff at. Come with 40%. Have that eight of diamonds working. We have absolutely nothing but king high. This should get some better king highs to fold, like king jack, king tens. Um, and it's a board the big blind can attack. It's a board the big blind can attack. I have all the five, six, four, five, deuce, deuce, three, three. Okay, that's a good turn card for me because the small blind's unlikely to have connected with that one. So we're going to go bet, bet. Be it. Beep, 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 beep. He's unlikely to have a five, Honka is, for calling in a small. Like, what five? Five, five. Ace, five, three bets some. So, what the hell? He's still called. Fuck, I don't like it anymore. I really think that he's fucking trapping me. If he can call that turn, what is that hand? Offsuit combo of, like, ace of diamond, jack. But I can't really fucking check this. So we're gonna go... We're gonna go for it. Fuck it. Take it if you have it. Fuck, he has it. Five three of fucking hearts. Wow, didn't see that one coming. Five three of hearts, okay. I'm gonna say nice hand. Wasn't a lot of fives he's supposed to have there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. He's not supposed to have that hand, but he did. That's all right. Sometimes they have it. Right? Would have felt silly just checking back a king high there, and then he has, like, ace-10 with a diamond. Or, like, ace-9 with a diamond, or ace-jack. I don't know. Three-five of hearts. All right, Honka. Honka gambling. Okay. Okay. Did not see him having a five. So I have a five more than anybody there. Diamond. Eh, whatever. I need another diamond. Hmm. All 
All right, I'm going to just address something that I think one guy in the chat was talking about on Twitch who's talking out of the, an orifice that isn't his mouth, doesn't really understand. Okay, so here's how it works when you play poker for a living, right? Two things. Okay, I'm going to fold this one. Okay, so as a professional poker player myself, let's talk about the regular, regular professional poker player first, right? Most professional poker players, they grind cash, they play tournaments. Sometimes they sell pieces in tournaments because it's very high variance. Sometimes they buy pieces, sometimes they swap, whatever the case may be. Um, then you have players who are affiliated with outside companies, like whether, you know, GG Poker Ambassadors, people that promote coaching sites, different things like that. So they have additional income outside of just playing the game. Um, for myself, I started out just full grinder, played cash games all my life to make money back when I was in my early, you know, mid-20s or whatever, I was playing 4,000, 8,000. I had millions of dollars. I had like a $3 million bankroll probably um, in 2002, 2003. I was doing quite good. And then I started winning some tournaments too. So uh, so yeah, so played cash, played tournaments on the, you know, as a the fun part, but we did both, right? There was no endorsement money, no nothing like that coming in. That started to come into play, um, but I've never, like, so... Actually, you don't get paid to play if you're if you're an ambassador. That's not how. That's not that's not a thing. Okay, what happens is you make a deal with a different company, whatever deal that looks like for you. You get a paid you know yearly salary, or you get uh, some buy-ins for things, or you get uh, um, maybe equity in a company. Whatever whatever deals you make, right? But once you play, right, you're playing with your money. You're playing with your money that you've earned through whatever deal that you have. It isn't a question of like. How to explain? It's like it's not your money, so YOLO. It's 100% your money, right? Um, you just have an alternative income, right? So it's like, say, people that have a coaching site and they make money off that, and then they use that money to play poker with it. It's, it's their money, you know? Same here. So, I don't know. Hope that explains things. But the idea that I'm being paid to play is not exactly accurate, you know? It's like I have a deal, of course. So I'm a GG Poker ambassador, um, you know, and I have a deal as I had before and whatever. But it's completely unrelated to my own play. Like, I don't, you know, it's just my, it's my money. I choose how to play what I want. When I play the super high roller bowl, which is a 300K buy-in, that's just my money, right? Nobody gives me the money for that tournament and says, here, free roll, you're, you're in the tournament. That's my money. I get to choose. I can play it or not. If I lose, I lose 300000 of my own money. I do sell pieces on the poker stake for fun to give you guys a sweat. Um... You know, I give, I put 25% up usually at poker stake or here in the client for GG Poker. I give everybody a sweat. Not that I need to. I just do it, you know, as a way to give back, if you will. And I charge no markup. Same thing with the World Series of Poker. When I play the World Series of Poker, you know, I allocate $1.8, $2 million of a bankroll for that approximately, whatever it takes. My money, again, how I get my money is partly poker, partly through sponsorship, or that sort of thing. Um, but then I choose to use it how I choose to use it. And... And yeah, and then I also, like I said, I give people a chance to sweat with the vlogs every single day at no markup throughout um, and, and go for the ride. We lost money at the World Series of Poker this year. We won money for the people at the Super High Roller Bowl, about 800K. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But the idea that it's just a real weird misconception that if you make money outside of just playing poker, that it's not your money. It doesn't make any sense. Of course it's your money. You know? You don't... Does that make sense? I don't know. Like, does that squash everything that, uh, any, every, like, misnotion that you're trying to portray? I built my bankroll playing poker, and then I built a nice big bankroll, and then I did make some good business decisions, investing, different things like that. So, no, I don't need to play poker to make a living. I do it because I love it. I love the competition. I try to win play to win bracelets, all the things. We're going to take a flop here and move on to the next, uh, what is this? Is the food almost here? Did the guy come yet? Should be here any minute. All right, we've got sevens. Estimated arrival, 1240. Well, he hasn't even... Oh, he's not going to be here in six minutes. What are you talking about? No, he's just preparing the order. All right, we can peel... With the three straight middle pair against a very small bet, 22% pot. Definitely can call. Oh, 
We may, may find a way to... No, never mind. He's overbetting turn. It's fine. Just take it. Okay, so, all right, so that makes sense. I don't know. Congratulations, Yogi Ichbayar. Congrats, I don't know. Congrats on your, your grandmother's genes and your mother's genes. That's awesome. Good for them. Smoke cigarettes away, then. Do your thing. I don't know. I'm not judging. Whatever works for you. All right. Thank you, Randy Holcomb. Throwing in a super chat. $1. That's cool, Dennis Dupuis. Where do I rank Ivy these days? For me, Phil Ivy is the GOAT. Still. Yes, Jackson split a bounty. We both split it. Actually, that was partly where mine came from. We chopped the pot. So Jackson's bounty was half of a, a bounty. So that's why we have awkward numbers. Because it would have been like 180-something. But we both got, you know, half, we split the bounty. With ace high. Give me a long... It says preparing your order. Estimated time. Okay, he's not even there yet, bro. Come on. Maybe he'll come on the break. That'd be ideal. You know? Ugh. This bird, man. He's just fucking waiting patiently. It's been here how long? An hour? Or is that the big fatty one? Big one? Ryan Strausser, no. You know, everybody's deal is different. But the idea that, you know, there's any sort of regulate, you know, you have to play this, you have to play that, that's not, that's not how I've ever really done deals. Um, but everyone's individually different. Everyone has different, you know, whatever deals they make, whether it's content creation, whether it's, you know, playing tournaments. It, they've evolved and changed over the years, but I've never really been one to say, okay, you know, this part of your deal, you have to play this tournament, that tournament, that tournament. It's never been a thing. Alan E.B., no, I do not. I do not get paid to play X amount of hours. That is not at all ever how I have ever done anything. Yeah. So if you look at it this way, right? Try to. Hey, babe. Birdie's still here. So what I was saying is, look at it this way. What, if let's say you have business money, whatever businesses you do, okay, you earn that money in another way, and then you use that money to play poker with it. Okay, it is your money. Where it's coming from is the business relationships and investments you've made over the years. Picking up your order. All right.
could you retire already? I could have ret retired essentially many years ago. Okay. He's just like, this is the fatty one. This is the different guy. This one? He's a chunkier one than the other one that was here earlier. Busted player. Boom, boom, boom. What are we looking at for average stack is 70. We got 84. Still over two hours of late registration available. We have one bullet remaining in the chamber if need be. What am I doing with this chair? F fighting with the chair. Yeah. So yeah, every deal that I've ever done you know, there's never been a stipulation about you must play these, this tournament, that tournament, nothing. That's never, ever been a thing I've ever really done, so. Queen, seven, diamonds. Da -da 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 -da. That's an interesting shine. I'm not interested in it. I don't see any reason for it, but I'm all for it. I'm all for that process of the lab grown, whatever. But I'm not, I don't have any reason to, but sure, go for it. I think a lot of it, the why, like, why are people curious about it? A lot of it genuinely, and I'm not saying this to be, I'm just saying it's genuinely like there's a sense, there's, a, there's an amount of jealousy. Right? Oh, screw this guy because, you know, he can play crazy because they pay for his buy-ins and he's free-rolling, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, you know, like that. And so there's, like, just a genuine, like, sense of jealousy from that, right? Like, because people would wish that they could have something like that, even though that's not even the reality of the situation. But that's what it comes from. Like, why else would they? Like, what's the point of saying, like, you know, talking shit about that? She said, I wish they played for all your buy-ins. <laughs> Roy Kerwood said, don't feed the seagulls. Too late. We feed them every day. And that's why they hang with us all the time. But yeah, sis, listen, so my bankroll isn't affected by this tournament. It's a $500 buy-in tournament, right? That would be true what, no matter what, you know? It's just like, it's a small buy-in for me. But I don't know. Let's move on. Moving on then. Cheers to my buddy Sheldon Cohen, who's sweating in the chat. What's up, Shelly? Sheldon Cohen, he's drinking a beer watching me play right now. Sheldon Cohen is a guy, when I was a teenager, one of the first people I started playing poker with. Sheldon's not very good, okay? We're just going to tell it like it is, Sheldon. I started my career playing with Sheldon. You know, he loved to play. Couldn't beat, couldn't beat old Dean Eggs, you know? Yeah, I got good pretty quick, comparatively, to who I was playing with back in those days. Good luck, Daniel. Tell Amanda her teeth look great. Mark Chevelles. Did you get that, babe? Yogi Ikbayar. I am a, a big fan, but King 9 was punt with 20 people left. You are wrong. You are absolutely wrong. That is a completely standard play. In fact, you, you're supposed to open King-7 suited in that spot. In addition, King-7 suited plus at a five-handed table. It is not a punt when the flop comes Queen-9-3 with two diamonds to get it in with King-9 and diamonds with 16 big blinds. If you think that's a punt, you need to learn more about poker. You need to study more because what you've just said is incredibly stupid and we're all dumber for having heard it. <laughs> okay. PQ-deads. How much of a difference for you is online versus in person? Do you find it more difficult considering how well you read people? It's different, yeah. I mean, here you have to focus on theory to make theoretically good decisions and quote unquote math, if you will. And where live, you can do some things, you know, you can deviate from that strategy because of reads where you, you know, you can tell just by looking at somebody. It's different. Holy shit, Kenny Masterson got 30 years of For what? Right. Who? 
What is this? He raped like a young person or? Two counts of rape. He's been in he's been in trials for a long time. There's more people came forward than that. So he got thirty years for two rape counts. Holy smokes. Thirty years. We knew this guy. He would play poker, Danny Masterson. Man. I mean, I didn't know thirty years. Yeah, that's fucked up. I mean, I mean it's fucked up that he did that. It's just wild. I mean clearly, I mean I don't know it was more multiple cave multiple rapes, huh? Man, why would you do that? Okay. So this is a flop that you can do a lot of things with. I'm actually going to check it once because I'm not too worried about any turn cards. Deuce is good. I could check this twice, actually. Joker Miner, when did you realize you needed an agent? How'd you budget for that? Um, I'm going to go with 40%. Uh, I, early on, probably around 2004 or 5 when poker started to get on TV, I met uh, a guy named Brian Ballsbog, who, you know, he was at the time like a WPT management guy or whatever. And I met him in Foxwood. You know, he introduced himself, whatever. And I was like, all right. I started talking to this guy. I met him in Minnesota. I had, had a drink. We talked. And I was like, all right, you're the guy. You're the poker royalty. His company's called Poker Royalty. You're the guy that's going to do this. And then I sort of convinced a lot of my other poker players to sign with him. And it was a great decision, obviously. We are going to come for 8.2. Why? Because we have aces. And we are going to get it in, hopefully, against Jax. Now he's out. This guy's probably going to fold, too. Oh, he called. Okay. So we're going to come for quarter pot. Again, we flop top set. Say hello to the guy. Hello. And we got no action. It's fine. All right. What are you going to do? What, how, so this is a long question. How do you know a contract is fair? How much yearly salary is a good amount? Because it's not like a contract. That's where, you know, that's where sort of kind of what I was touching on before. That's where an agent comes into play, right? Um, I think it's important. Not everyone has one. But I felt like it was an important kind of buffer, if you will, always through my life. Because I don't understand this stuff. I don't know the values. I don't get it as much. So I, that's what Brian comes in. So Brian is the one who, um, you know, he does the negotiation. And on all the little T's and I's, he's... Got a law degree, so he makes sure the contracts are buttoned up and correct. That way I don't have to worry about that stuff. So anytime people come to me with opportunities, you know, hey, whether it's appearances, whether it's like, I want you to endorse this company, I send them to Poker Royalty. Send them to Brian. They deal with it. I went off to hear every pitch because I get pitched on a lot of stuff, as you can imagine, like some weird stuff too. And it's just like, all right, I just get to, it's okay, you know, have him deal with it. And he deals with that. And then, of course, any agent would. Do you have a, you know, a deal where you have like you know percentage of the action but what i found was the value is unparalleled the value is very important because if i negotiated my own versus what he does he protects me in so many ways um and it's well worth it i'll just leave it at that Okay, what are we looking at? Average of 73. This pizza, what? I know it's weird. It says... Okay, he's three minutes away. He is... He's on his way. Bet you he's not here in three minutes. It says three minutes. Because... Oh, dude, the pizza's almost here. Wow. Pizza almost here. It's not entirely true, Butter. He said, if anyone put in the time, amount of time Daniel put into poker, you'd be a master of your craft as well. Not necessarily, but... Illegal? What the fuck? What are you talking about? Um... Oh, wow.
All right, we got a fold here. All right, he's here-ish. One minute away. Thank you, Rod Poker. I appreciate it. Much appreciated for the kind words. Okay, this dude is here. Yeah, that's I understand. Well, jury found him guilty doesn't mean he did it. Yeah, that's you know, it's fair. I don't know. You end, you end up thinking though, when there's multiple cases, that it becomes obviously more likely, right? Talking about Danny Masterson. exponentially more likely, right? If you had one case, two case, 12 cases. Like, what are the chances that someone was accused of 12 cases and they're all fake, right? Versus, like, one. So the, every, with each one, it increases the likelihood that it's true, right? I would think. Ba-da-ba-bum-bum. -bum. His bird is patiently waiting for some pizza. So am I. Oh, Sh Sh Sheldon says, Thanks for the shout-out. My game has improved, LOL, fucker. I'm sure it's improved. I'm sure you're really a top-notch player, Sheldon. Just like you were back in the day, in the 90s. Yeah. We used to play house games with Regev, Beoren, all the peeps. Benny, Benny Tarzi. I think he still plays in some of those underground Toronto games. Back in the day. He's here, downstairs, probably. All right, we're, all, we're going on break. This is going to be good timing, potentially. I can't go down there and come back in time, but... Amanda is an artist. Does she have a website? No. What do we got? Rod Poker. Salud, Daniel. Muscumesc pentru inspirație. Mulțumesc, Georgi Sorin. Mulțumesc. Haide. Acum am perechi de dame. That's a pair of queens. Perecchia is pair. Dame is what you would expect in most Latin-based languages. Queens. All right, this is a good spot against, uh, again, another squeeze opportunity. Eventually, they're going to get sick of this and think, like, what the hell is he doing? Let's go to, because they're lower, the stacks are much smaller now, so the race size has become a little bit smaller. So put them in a spot mostly where they're just, like, jam or fold a lot, and jam is fine. We don't mind. Okay, we're going to certainly snap that off. And what do you got, Jackson? Eights. Okay, I've got queens. Chance for a nice, big, fat $156 bounty. Okay. That's that's going to be it. Big bounty prize. Big bounty. d has got a big old bounty on his head now. Watch this. Another $78 is going to be added to my head. Over 300 bucks for busting me. Okay, two ninety six. So seventy eight dollars, as I said. So now the bounty on my head is three hundred dollars. We are big pimping in chips now. Double average. Finally got them. All right, we're getting some bounties. Bounties are fun. They're kind of a fun little added deal. Am I still one twenty seven? So it'll tell you. Let's see. I'm gonna go down to the I'm scrolling down. If you look at the tournament. See what I'm scrolling in the bottom left-hand corner. Okay, so you'll see my name pop up there. So, what does that say? It says, Daniel Negreanu, $343 banked. We've got $343 banked. We put 1000 into this tournament. And we've got a $300 bounty on our heads. Should be break time. Break time, food time. Call the front desk time. Okay, did he... 
He said I've arrived. Should be up here in a minute. There's a body dock and drive it. Don't sweat it. Oh, still three minutes. Okay.
One minute and counting. Here we go. Oh, there's a crow. Got a crow. Clee Chris, what happened in 2019? You won World Series Player of the Year. What happened to your banner, right? So what happened was I won. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you can bring it in. Oh, that's for her, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, so in 2019, I won WSOP Player of the Year for the third time, okay? And then, uh, they pound, apparently found that the points were wrong and Robert Campbell won. So I was, I won for the third time for about five days and then it was Robert Campbell. What'd you get? Ooh, yum. Thanks, babe. No, leave it open because I have a f uh, order coming too. Hopefully. A lot of players in this one. We got a lot to wade through. 2,000 starters. Wow. Are you doing it different? Oh, my foot's still not here. He's he bringing it up. I don't know what's going on. Is that bird still here? Yeah, the big one. Yeah, the bounties come off the prize pool. So basically, it's a five hundred dollar bounty. Two hundred and fifty, half of the buy-in, goes towards bounties. We got a nice juicy one on our head right now. 300 bucks. And that will sway people's decisions, right? Later, or, you know. Madonna. He won the 5K last longer that we were in together. I came second. Yep. Oh, thank you. Here. Appreciate it. No, no, she's good. Here, I'll go with it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Pizza time. All right, we got a little hell crust pizza. Let's take a look at this bad boy. These are incredibly hot. Hold on. I'm going to eat, so I'm giving him like, Okay, babe. Look at that. Totally vegan pizza. Very pretty. It's a, that's a pretty looking pizza, huh? Oh, what, I, this is the Donnie Peters. Is this? Does this look like good pizza to you, Donnie? Does this? He always does this on his Twitter. Does that look like good pizza to you? It looks good to me. All right, don't mind if I do. Care for a slice? Mm-hmm. Mm. Very good. Ex extraordinary. The cheese on this is very good. Mm. Melted good, good texture, good taste. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll inhale this whole pizza, no problem. I got a good appetite. We're gonna. Eat the crust at the end. Maybe. Mm -hmm. mm. 
Ace Jack suited. A little pizza. Okay. Race size are going to come down now with the stack sizes we see. Honk is opening. Alright. I'm just going to flat. Honk, I had that 3 5 suited earlier, remember? Well, that's annoying. 2023. Best player, he says. Okay. We'll see about that. You remember, he says, I'm coming for you. Come on, Steve Enrique. All right, every time we have ace check suited, somebody has aces, right? Let's see if it's, they have it this time. All right, how about we just hit a queen? You don't care what they have. I have a feeling this guy's gonna get bigger than he should, which means we'll probably have to fold. But yeah, against that size, 100% we peel. Mm-hmm. Yep, we gotta hit that queen. Big pot. Boom. Mm. Maybe we'll get a free card. Oh, we did. Damn. It would be nice. Queen ball corner pocket. Can we now bluff? I don't know about these two. These two don't seem like good candidates to bluff. So I'm gonna wave the white flag. Jesus, bro. Okay, hold on. He's betting big, huh? All right, I'll fold. This has vegan cheese, bro. See? See it on there? You guys have nothing, yeah. Did he show his hand or something? Bragging? Well, you have three kings? Something I don't fucking know. That's not nice, Doctor Who. Why would you say such a rude thing? Don't talk like that. Your mother wouldn't be proud. Let's go. Pizza time. Pizza. The only thing we're missing is a nice beer. Hmm. Amanda from the big game? That is correct. Married that beautiful young woman. Hmm. Notice this Madonna play betting almost all his chips because a half a big blind is worth more in, the, in staying alive than the value of the chip. That's an ICM concept. So now if he's bluffing, he can just fold. He isn't bluffing. Wow, what a honk is doing. Why does he raise? Weird. Let me see. No. Hmm. 
nice beer. Keep the hangover going. Or hangover cure, I don't know. Jack of all. Give it some time. He said he just started them watching the master class. Give it some time. Let it soak in. I know it's a lot, but you'll get it eventually. This guy's raising, huh? Hmm. I'm going to min flick it back. Get it in with tens. Oh, wait. Should I see a flop? No. I'll just get it in. Madonna moves in, I'll fold. Against Steve Enriquez, we are committed. 1,000%. Tell him to come on. Come on, bro. <laughs> He's tanking. Oh, fuck. Okay, one. You got aces? Ace queen. Flip. Okay. Hold. Diamond, that's a big, good, good flop. Let's put another diamond out. Any diamond is good. Looks like a club. No, it's good. Yes! Sorry, Steve Enriquez. I win flip. Nice for me. More bounty money. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Boom. Ho, oh, ho. Look at that. 359 on top. Big pimping. Big old target on our head now. Hmm. I'm gonna take my sweater. Hmm. You don't see that every day. Raise, min raise. It's usually a misclick. Welcome, Jeff Tuglis Higher Thomas. Right, this is a small, this isn't pizzas isn't as big as you think. But yeah, it's done. That didn't take long, did it? Hmm. Pizza done. Let's see what Amanda got me for dessert. She said she ordered me something fun. Yep, pizza done. Hmm. Look, my good. Hmm. Amanda decided to order me something. We're going to take a taste always. What do we got here? It's like a it's like a vegan ice cream strawberry. What do we got there? Little nuts on the side. We'll taste that. See if it's good. Vegan ice cream. Why not? Wow. Wow. 
Wow. Oh boy. Oh boy, babe, this is good. Thank you, honey. Mm. Fucking guy. This is good. Yummy. Why not? We're on vacation. I'll get back in shape when we need to. Having a little fun. Ain't nothing wrong with that. We'll hit the gym later. An entire pizza and a dessert. Okay. Let's go. Hmm. Very good. A7 suited. What are the stacks looking like? Still come in for 2.5, why not? You got flatted by Madonna. How much money does Madonna have in earnings? Probably a lot, 1.5 million. Four. We got middle pair. Backdoor flush draw. Coming with 40%. Hope to just pick it up right here. If not, seven on the turn will be juicy. A little diamond action. If we get called in either spot, we have to be careful. Hmm. All right, that's a problem. Eight, nine got there. Queen is already there. So, you can beat clubs, or not the 10 of clubs. Just gotta give up. What do we beat? Psst, nothing. <laughs> yeah, we don't beat anything. No hands we really beat. Yeah, there's really nothing here. I'm gonna fold. Overbet, too, yeah? Okay, fold. Well, that's gone, too. <laughs> I can do it. Oh, my God. Where'd that go? I <laughs> messed up the screen a little bit. Pizza gone, dessert gone. Bon appetit. Mm. That was excellent, thanks, babe. Did you eat it all? Yeah. Why did you want some? I thought it froze the fries, but that's okay. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't know. I thought you just got it for me. You know how my stupid Hoover mouth. Oops. I ate the whole thing. She wanted some. Did not know. It is good. It was good. Oops. I know, let's order another one. Okay. We just have a fucking guest here for the the whole turn the whole the whole stay, huh? We have a house guest. What a buffet he's got. I know, I was close with him too. That's chia seeds, yeah. Well. Not, not so much. <laughs> Wait, going to grab a tissue? He might beat at me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He can't wipe his nose. Are you done? No. This one won't leave. But... He's not fat. It's the other one's well, really this fat. one was bigger than the other one. That was real earlier. He's little. Sunny boy, when will you shave the beard? Why would I shave the beard? It's fucking dead sexy. You crazy? In fact, there's a thing that was just released. I sent it to Amanda. I don't know, some website did this. This is so silly. I'm going to read it. <clears throat> some sub website did a thing and it said, I'm, they must not have got all the poker players. It said, the most and least handsome poker players. And they used the golden ratio. You used some data AI. They just do your face like this. Yeah. They did it some data AI. So I'm going to read what it says. It says, okay. The golden ratio. While how beautiful or handsome someone is is subjective and will differ from person to person, there are scientific methods to correlate attraction based on philosophies from the ancient Greek. The perfect score, also known as the golden ratio, is capped at 1.6. However, thanks to golden face ratio app, we're, sim we're able to simplify this by simply giving a score out of 10. With that in mind, we ran the most famous male poker players from around the world, ranging from age 32 to 89, through the app to find out who is the most handsome. And I won! <laughs> I'm so sexy. I, I got an 8.79. Number two is Tom Dwan with an 8.63. Number three, Antonio Esfandiaro, 8.17. Dan Smith coming in at number four, 8.02. Number five, Chris Moneymaker, 7.69. Then we've got Dan Blazarian, Victor Blom, Chris Ferguson. Patrick Antonius is ninth. This thing's broken, babe. <laughs> Phil Hellmuth, 10th ahead of Phil Ivey. And then you got Bryn Kenny, Doyle Brunson. Oh my God, this is so funny. It says Eric Seidel, but it's a picture of Howard Letter at number 14. <laughs> Here, look. See the picture? Look, that's that's Howard Letter. That's not... <laughs> I won that one, so there you go. Scientific evidence that I'm dead sexy. So how do you like them apples? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Love it, you bone. There's 2,000 players in this thing. Twenty-one hundred. Love it, you bone, bone. I'm 
she's so full now, eating all of her dessert. Ba -da -da. Do I have a sense of humor? No. Of course I do. I like jokes. I got a good joke. You want to hear a joke? Who wants to hear a joke? You want to hear a good joke? All right. I'll give you a good joke while we're in between hands here. Take a look at this hand. I'll give you a good joke. This is a good joke. You can tell your friends. How does Poker Go on Sports Network here? Poker Goes on the Sports Network? It's on my TV in the mirror. Oh, something's wrong with this TV. It won't work. Maybe I have to fix it. I don't know. I tried to... The... I don't think they did anything other than stream. It's on a sports network. Yeah, that's weird. All right, we're going to go with 2.2s now. I'll tell this joke. Want to hear a joke? Want to hear a good joke? I got a good joke. After this hand, I'll tell the joke. You like jokes? I got jokes. I got jokes. I'll tell you what, this is a joke. My man here is playing aggro, as you can see, but it's been four bet, so we get out the way. All right, here's the joke. Guy gets home from the hospital, okay? His wife says, oh my God, is everything okay? And he says, no, honey, I've got really bad news. He's like, what's that? He said, I've only got 24 hours to live, the doctor says. And she goes, oh my God, that's so awful. Is there anything I can do? And so he says, well, you know, since I only got 24 hours to live, maybe we can go upstairs and have some sex. She's like, of course, honey, whatever you need. So they do, they have the sex, right? Six hours go by, he's got 18 hours to live. He says, you know, honey, since I've only got 18 hours to live, maybe we can do it again. Sure, whatever you need. Same thing happens with 12 hours to go. Now they're in bed, it's nighttime. He's got six hours to go, right? He's gonna die in six hours. She's sleeping in the bed. He taps her on the shoulder like this. He says, hey, honey, honey. She goes, look, I have to get up in the morning. You don't. But a bump. <laughs> I have to get up in the morning. You don't. <laughs> that one cracks me up. We got jokes. We got jokes. We got jokes. You like that joke? You got jo I got jokes. I got all kinds of jokes. I used to have a lot of jokes. That one's my go-to now. I got another one. A little more difficult to tell. We'll leave it. <clears throat> is that a new table for us? It is. Zombie Chow. We played with Zombie Chow before. million in earnings for zombie chow I'm gonna fold this one saprikin i had oleg saprikin on my fantasy team many years ago i haven't seen the name ever since 858k for saprikin c bindol has 627,000. yp 66666 361 dollars welcome to the site fish girl 25 249k all right we're folding that one strawberries has 1800 Magician from Riga, 1.5 million. All right. Beard mathematically confirmed sexy. Many years ago, Gus Hansen was in people's top 50 sexiest men. Or people, was it men or people? I think it was men. Can you find the playlist? Justin Fed Redfern asks. I don't know if you can. I'll ask my guy.
four now. Two full. Two, I shouldn't ate all her fucking dessert. Should have saved her at least a taste. What an asshole. I wouldn't even think about it. I thought it was, you know. Don't, don't. Dun, 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 dun. HNDRX. I think it's a function, the game selection, it's a function of international play and what people want to play. So you just cater to them. You know, Vegas is much more mixed, US is mixed game heavy, but of course US players can't play, so makes it problematic. No, I agree. Late Nine Sun, the Patrick Antonius should be number one, but hey. The software, the AI doesn't lie, you know. <laughs> All right, we got a pair of fours. We will open this hand. For sure, if it's not open before us. And even if it is, no, against these blinds, if he opens, I'll probably fold these fours with the stack depths and a button 19 big blind jam stack. Yeah, yeah. This is gonna fold, yeah. We got uh, the button with 19 behind. Okay, people like the joke. Ooh, that would have been a good flop for us. Would we have won? Looks like I would have won this pot. With a bet on the flop, unless Big Blind has something, something. You have to get up. I have to get laid. Oh, big overbet. Interesting here from YP666. Massive overbet there. Interessant. Wouldn't have been able to call that, I don't think. We're going to come in with a... Little itty bitty raise with a suited king. Okay, suited king. Ah, oh, fuck. Annoying. We got a joke in from OG Sean White. A blonde and a brunette jump off a building. Who hits the ground first? The brunette does, because the blonde had to stop and ask for directions. But um bump. Blonde jokes. Are you free to lay? I get it. What's PKA, the podcast? Whatever, go on PKA? What's PKA? Haha, <laughs> that's a good one. Bad guy hood. I like that one. That's a good joke. 
<laughs> like, I don't want to say it because who knows, but it's a funny one. Let's get back to playing. I was diving into the chat. Okay, let's see here. What's the situation? We've got a nice, big, fat, juicy bounty on our head. Big, fat, juicy stack of 90 bigs. We've got 90 minutes of late reg. Jeremy Bastien says, can I play with a four-color deck, please? The answer to that is no. Simple as that, no. I'm an old school, you know, dude with that. I just, I play the, I'm going to check this one back. It's a decent flop. We'll call his bet or we will bet ourselves one chip. One chip. All right, he's betting one chip, calling one chip. Five on the turn. He's betting maybe 3.2 chips. I'm going to bet two chips. You bet a chip, I bet two. You bet a chip and I bet two. Are you gonna go bonkers here? If you do, you got a three. You could have a three. All right, he called. You might have a nine. We have a very good nine. We have nines and threes with a king kicker. So nine queen, nine ten, nine eight, nine sevens. We're gonna go for some value. Question is how much? We're gonna go exactly half pot, 4.5. Exactly half pot for value, thin-ish. If he raises all in here, he's gonna have a three always. Because I can have a three in the big blind, right? Like, he's not gonna check raise bluff this, I don't think, ever. So if he goes all in, we're gonna have a tough spot, but we're probably gonna fold. Because he bet flop, check called turn. And check raise river, what's the bluff? I can't think of any. Can't think of any bluffs. Yeah, we will fold if he check raises. It's tanking. We got ace high. Called. Okay, give me the money. He got a pair of fives. He turned a pair of fives. Okay. That worked out pretty good. Get some value there with the nine. Squeezed it out. Saprikin. Let me see, that was whole leg Saprikin, right? That I had on my fantasy team. Whole leg Saprikin, it was. He's 42 now. Hope you're doing well, buddy. Had you on the fantasy team way back in the day. Like the year 2003, 2004. Oh. His best season. He never panned out, did he? Oleg Saprikin's best season was 2006-7. Nothing crazy. 15 goals, 21 assists. You never, you never did it, huh? You never, you never got it figured out. Well, I guess 2006-7, 59 games, 14 goals, 20 assists wasn't too bad. Oleg Saprikin. You're welcome, D-R-E-Y-P-I. I don't know how to say that. I'm just going to spell it out. <clears throat> Wheel playing poker make your forehead beautiful like my forehead? I don't think so. Not sure how that works. Let's make a nice, deep, long run today. Patience is a virtue. We've got plenty of that. Boop, 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 boop. 
long fucking tournament this one's gonna be, right? With so many people. Over 2,000 players. Alright, we will open this one to 2.2. If folded. If they raise, I fold. If they fold, I make it 2.2. Let's do 2.2. What is PKA? PKA podcast. Now I have to find out. Everyone's talking about PKA. What is it? Was it flop anything? Hmm. Never heard of it. Yeah, I ate way too much. Such is life. Alex PQ on one to ten, I'd say eight. Thank you, the man, over on YouTube chat. Let's check out what's going on on Twitter just momentarily, or X, or uh, you're going to get used to that. Donnie Peters, what do you think of that pizza? This hoodie. I don't know. It's been lucky though, overall. Okay, we're on 80 bigs now. Average is 50. Starting to get to the nitty gritty part of the tournament. It's always fun to start with 250 big blinds. You get a lot of fun stuff there. So Diamond's looking good. We want him to survive so we can bust him. Win the bounty money. Ooh, what a beat. Man, can only hit a queen or a three that wasn't a diamond. Tough one. Boom, 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 boom. All right, now we got a big old bounty on Baby Loop. We move, new table again. Okay. New contestants, let's see. We got Zhao Zhao Zhao. Zhao Zhao Lulu has 186k in earnings. Fat and Poor has 30k. Testosterone has 2.5 million. We played with testosterone the other day. Coos were Luke's, 57k. Brown Monday, 60k. King Alex MVP, 330k. Money Make, 123k. 
All right, so. None of the big baller shot caller guys. All right, I might get comfy here. After food, you know, a little post food. So it says, I never noticed before, but you do have a nice forehead. Thank you. My forehead game is on point. <laughs> How many levels today? 30. And this is level 11. It's a long way to go. It says this term is going to take 39 hours. I don't see how. 39. Oh! Maybe they are factoring in like the overnight. Wait. That don't make no damn sense. 39 hours. I guess they count. No. Well, 24, 15, I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it, but if it is true... 39 hours. How is that possible? I don't know, bro. King and queen. The king and the queen. Against the under the gun raise here. I'm going to be folding. You're going to be like, what? Why are you folding a king and a queen? Because it's a full table. It's raising under the gun. And we've got four people left to act behind us. And we're not suited. You know what I'm saying? Someone said I was on PKA in February of 2020. I've done so many podcasts and so many things, guys, that I don't remember anymore. I didn't order the food. Leonard Hodgkinson, she ordered the food. She ordered dessert and she said, I got this for you to try. And I tried it and finished it. I didn't think like she wanted some too. Oops. Who do I think wins tonight between the BC Lions and the who? And the BC Lions and the Saskatchewan Chiefs? Is that was that the game? CFL. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, exactly, right? Ron, Paul, or die? Oh, never mind. Never mind. My goal is poker is to go to a dinner break with Dean Eggs. That's impossible. Because I don't eat with human beings on dinner. I always, always, always go to my room and relax alone. 100% alone. Queen Jack. What happened to that King and Queen? I didn't even look at the board. We would have had nothing. Here we're coming for the 2.2. So why are we playing Queen Jack when we fold the King Queen? Big difference. We are first in, in the hijack, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to fold anyway. Would have folded this to an under the gun raise as well. I should go for this because of bounty stuff, but I told you, we don't give a shit. But if you're trying to win bounties, that's a $218 call you can make to try to win that. I don't care enough about that. I don't want to risk my stack on those bad hands. Who's work clues? Come in with the snap cam. You got you love to see it. That was fun. <laughs> only on GG Poker. Mine doesn't work. And it's not it's only because of my setup with the streaming stuff. But it's a lot of fun. You can send people videos on here. Yeah. 
got three minutes till break. I could use one. Splash a little water on my face. I don't know if it's coffee time yet. We're going to wait till three. Typically wait till three. Plus, I'm so full. All right. Razy daisy, AC8, C suitsy. AC8, C suitsy. If they jam in my face, see, I'm going to fold this one. Well, definitely not calling this raise. <sighs> that should be a pretty strong hand here. Oh, I'm just going to throw it away. Dun, 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 dun. What was the flop? Nothing. Okay, we will defend against Coos Work Loose. <laughs> we will defend our big blind. The honor of our big blind. We've got an okay flop. Pair of nines, straight flush draw. Obviously, a lot of hands beat us. A lot of hands have us in bad shape. There's nothing to protect here with the nine, really. So I'm going to check once again. We will call a turn bet. If he does decide to make one. So he's betting about half pot. We've got more than enough hand to make this call, though. We have concerns. All right, so now the ace, we have the third nuts. Ace of hearts. Queen of hearts is the nuts. Ace of hearts. Going to check. I think we're good. A whole big percentage of the time. It's very unlikely that... I mean, he could have the ace of hearts or the queen of hearts. But the queen of hearts is less... Well, no. We're not going to fold anyway, so. Queen Jack. Okay, so we were behind. He made the straight. Didn't go for thin value. Could have bet the one chip there. Someone says, it's a PKO. Play King Queen. I'm like, I told you. I don't give a shit about winning the bounties. I'm not going to call under the gun raises with King Queen. Mm hmm. Do I remember folding kings, sensing aces? I've done it. Well, let's not talk about it now because it's break time. Okay. Break time, I believe. Okay. Be right back, ladies and gentlemen.
to make it sometime. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Think me free. Uh. Mm, man, I'm too full. What an idiot. Fucking full pizza and the full, all of her dessert. What's wrong with me? Wasn't a good idea. Seemed like one at the time. Hmm. Free. Doom, 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 doom. <laughs> Coffee soon. Feel it. Last night, you know. Had good energy a few days before, but went to bed later. A little bit of vino. Power through. <laughs> Sheldon, come with the strat talk. It's so annoying. This fucking TV won't work all of a sudden. Anymore. I can't turn it off in the background. CRV pip 22%. That's a little on the low side. We've been playing nice and snug. Solid, solid poker. Not getting a crazy amount of hands, but we're making them work. This one down with a 14 and a 16 there that I don't want to raise fold against. You can open that ace eight if you want. I'm gonna smash that TV, I think. It's driving me nuts. Turned it on this morning, like I always do. And I couldn't change the channel, couldn't do anything, couldn't couldn't turn it off. It's just I'm have to call the people, they'll have to enter the room, make a big spiel out of it. What country are you in now? I'm in Vancouver, Canada. Oh, shut off, TV. Oh, it's going to drive me nuts. I have to find a way. I'm going to have to smash it or unplug it, maybe. I'm going to go uh, get a sledgehammer and break this TV. Be right back.
not smash the TV, but I did unplug said TV. So you can't hear that in the background anymore. You know, we got to focus here. We got music, we got online sounds. I don't need to hear that in the background. Thank you, X. QQX. Look at this hand. 19 people are all in. Is this the hand I had ace eight? No, three deuce of hearts. Everybody's all in, all in, all in, all in. And the jack nine makes the straight. <laughs> and a couple of bounties. Good for you, buddy. See, when bounties are in play, people go bonkers. We're not going to be one of those people. We're going to maintain a stack. Sacrifice EV in the name of the goal, which is to win the tournament. First prize. Not win the most money, win the bracelet. Those are those are those are not the same thing. If your goal is to win the most money, the you know, give yourself the best EV in bounty tournaments, you should also be going after those bounties. It's worth a lot of, you know value in terms of actual money. Beard game, everyone's checking out the beard game. Been like this for a while now. Wife likes the beard, so the beard is here to stay. All right, blinds have just gone up. Average is 49, we have 68. 15 minute levels. Getting closer to the nitty gritty of the tournament. Still one hour left of late registration for those that bust. Big fat bounty on our head, $359. Zhao Zhao Liu has a nice $343 one. Brown Monday, 300 bucks. It's fun to get a big old bounty on your head. One of the things that you have to notice, and we'll, we'll, we'll address this later in the tournament, is that when you get, if you get short and you have a bounty on your head that's big, you have to change the way that you pl approach playing the spots. Understand that you don't have as much fold equity. People are going to call you wider, so adjust accordingly. And what that means typically is less stealing, less marginal hand opens, and more just patience and waiting. Because everybody coming for you. You know what I'm saying? All right, this is a, this is a play. Hopefully we can play it against the shorty, bust him, and win a bounty. We got a limp there from testosterone. Okay, I like it. Limping is pimping after all. Somebody gonna raise? No, I'm gonna raise. King Alex deciding, all right. We've got a raise here to six. I think the play is just stick it in. Let's go. No gamble, no future. If testosterone was trapping, he just felt set himself up real nice. Huh? If he's trapping there with the ace king or the aces. Hmm. King Alex should not have a callable hand. Now we just we decide on money make. 
We will money make play for all of it. He called. Okay, what do you have? Unfortunate. All right. I don't see a way out of that one, frankly. I'm going to throw an egg at his face. Watch. <laughs> he beat me. I throw an egg at him. <laughs> All right. What are we at now? We're below average, but still on. No, we're on second bullet, actually. In that spot, I think, against the 6x. I don't think flat is ever really a good play. So we man, we get it in. We get called by ace king, ace queen, and then all the jacks plus and everything else. Probably maybe he calls with nines too. Maybe he calls with nines. We could have been in good shape there. Whatever. All right, thirty-three bigs, plenty of chips, plenty. Of chips. Start with 25k. So we have 20 something now. Alrighty. That's not happening, Daniel Fellner. Your poker goal will not come to fruition. I do not eat with humans on breaks. All right, I'm going to 3-bet bluff this one. Different position. Brown, Mundy. Coming with big stack. I'm going to make this one 5.2. He came in for 2.2. We go to 5.2. With the intention of... If he 4-bet jams or anybody else 4-bet jams, we fold. If he calls, okay. He folds, so what? So simple. Fold to a jam. Okay. It's a good bluff candidate. King, queen off. Some of you say, why is that a bluff? Well, it's because it's just king, queen. It's not that good a hand. I mean, it's not, not anything yet, but when you have a king and a queen, you're blocking. You're blocking ace king, you block ace queen, you block king king, and you block queen queen. So as far as blockers go, king queen is a good three bet bluff candidate. And you can see the three bet doesn't have to be that big as the stacks get shorter. He opened for 2.2, I just made it a paltry little 5.2. And he decided to just not bother. Satraesht, mult success, mult sumesk. Brian Burns, I appreciate you doing that, clothing the homeless, but we don't really do dinners, unfortunately. It's not a thing. I mean, we have close friends we don't even go to dinner with, so as, as respectfully as I can be, I'm going to have to decline the offer, Brian Burns. All right. Brown Mundi. Should I try putting that TV back on, see if it works? I will. See what happens. I was going to watch Blue Jays bait. Oh, they're not playing today, are they? 
Oh no, they do play. Today's Friday? No, that's tomorrow. Yeah. Let's see, are they in the wild card right now? Barely. Toronto Blue Jays hanging on to a wild card position. 21 game, 22 games to play. We gotta win them. Holding off the Texas Rangers. 9 6 suited. I'll wait. Whose hair is weird? My hair is weird? What's wrong with my hair? Is it weird? I don't know. I didn't even do anything to it today. I just woke up. I got a guy saying, going on, Vlad. What's his name? Vlad Chiobanu, are you, you're like the best player in the world, it sounds like. You know everything. Come on, I always love the, the, the takes. Going all in with tens, it's suicide. It's like killing yourself. Oh, you can only play aces and kings. If somebody raises only aces and kings, and you'll win every tournament because you get aces and kings every third or fourth hand. So wait for aces and kings. Why would you play tens if you get aces and kings every fourth hand? I get what you're saying. Vlad, thank you for teaching me. Vlad Chiobanu. You are genius. Fucking, you're right. Only play aces and kings and you'll do amazing in poker. Never again will I put a chip in with two tens. Thank you for the coaching. I needed that. Oh, you're such a fucking sport. Thanks, buddy. Poof. What would I do without you? Now I'm going to win everything. Hmm. <laughs> Is it more profitable to stream on YouTube or Twitch? I do not know. I do not care. Has anybody from Twitch reached out to you? No, I don't even have a Twitch partnership because I want to be able to stream everywhere. I don't do this for the money. I don't know what you get paid for this. Is it? Is it? I don't even know. Do you know what is Brown Mundi? I think I do. Got a big all in from Coos Work Lose. Brown Monday in the tank. Brown Monday lets it go. Mm -hmm. What's that loud noise? How do you block it? There's four kings in a pack. I guess you're referring to the king-queen, which means this. So, there's four kings in a pack, right? But when you have one of them, there's only three. Amazing, right? See how I did that? So, you have four kings. But if you have one, four minus one leaves three, which is less than four. I love teaching this high-end concepts. Four is a bigger number than three. This is the place to come for all the high-end stuff. Yeah, Michael Skull, a 2.2 is a pretty standard raise at this stage. How often do I visit Romania? I haven't gone in quite a while. It'd be fun to take a trip out there again at some point.
Why don't I eat dinner with people? Because here's something that you don't realize. I'm an introvert, okay? I'm a talkative introvert, which means I charge my batteries when I'm alone and I expend tons of energy when I'm around people or doing things like this. You should see what this does to my health, the streaming. It kills me. It gives me added stress levels and my recovery shot. just takes a lot out of me. So on dinner breaks, when I play in a tournament, the last thing I want to do is go to dinner and chit chat with people and expend energy. I'd rather lay down, relax on my own and just kind of zone out. You know what I'm saying? Okay, David Merrill, he loves the oopsie meter. He wants me to tell him when I think I made an oopsie. I didn't. I don't think there's been any oopsies today. The tens is pretty normal. Pretty normal after two limps in the small blind making it six. Not a lot of room to flat. Oh boy, now I'm getting fucking direct questions from Sheldon. No, he's, no. I'm going to try to explain this to Sheldon. All right, for Sheldon, I'm going to say it on the thing. He says, so on that king-queen small ball re-raise when you said you blocked many hands, I'm assuming you're meaning flushes and full boats or any mid-flop straights. You see, when I told you this guy wasn't very good at poker, this is my buddy from when we were teenagers. So this question you just asked me that don't make no damn sense, there's no flop yet. What I explained was when you have a king-queen, right, there's less likely that he has kings, less likely that he has queens less likely there's ace king or ace queen because you have one of them each right so you we use the term block you it's like another way you could look at it is card removal right so if you think about it there's 16 combinations of ace king there's four aces there's four kings right four times four is 16 so there's 16 possibilities that the player has ace king when you have a king now it's four times three which is 12. so you've limited the total number of hands or combinations of, of hands that your opponent can have that's very, very strong. So, how many combinations of kings are there? Six. You get one king with three kings, it's three. The other king with the other two, and then one more. So, the six combinations of kings. When I have a king, there's only three. So, when you have a king queen, there's what's possible is three combinations of queens, three combinations of kings, 12 combinations of ace king, 12 combinations of Ace queen. Let's say I had two sevens instead. I don't block any of those. So what does that look like? 16 combos of ace king, 16 combos of ace queen, six combos of king, six combos of queens. So a lot more likely that they're going to have stronger hands when you don't block them. Does that make sense, Sheldon? After all these fucking years? Huh? I'm going to tell him answer's coming. <sighs> Sheldon, Sheldon, Sheldon. Do I speak Romanian? Yes, of course. Look at these hands. Fucking 20 people in there. Oh, the blinds went up again? Or did they? Oh, yeah, they just did. They went up minimally. 700, 1400. So the average is 49. We've got 30. A fresh stack right now would be. Whatever. It's Mund, not Mundi. Well, I'm, I like Mundi better. I'm going to go with Mund. Brown Mund! Brown Mundi. I, I like Mundi better. I don't know. I, sometimes words, if they're supposed to sound a certain way and everyone says that's right, I don't care. I'll say it the way I prefer. Everyone, I'm going to have I'm gonna have a coffee in a moment. You know what kind of coffee I'm going to have? You can wait for it. I'm going to have an espresso. I'm going to have an espresso. Espresso. I know you guys. Oh, oh, no, it's espresso. Not for me. I want to go with espresso. That's what I do. I choose how I want to say things. It's my own choice. I'm choosing espresso over espresso. Espresso is what I'm having. Because it gives you like, it's like an express. I'm 
Someone says, why 2.2 and not just 2? Because 2.2 is more than 2. <laughs> Thank you, Papa Wheelie. He says, I love when you troll the chat when they say stupid stuff. I try. Tight is right. You know what they say. See that circle over my face? Whatever, that, that sphere that looks like a block of ice? That means we've been cold. You see the guys on the left and right with the fireballs in front of them? That means they're hot. Running hot. Sherm sticks. If you're playing online, I do recommend playing in big blinds, and it's very easy to do. You click on this, you see our stack is 41k. Click it again, you see it's, that means it's 29.9 bigs. It's much easier to play in bigs. Obviously, when you play live, you don't have that opportunity, but online, it basically saves you one step, where you're like, okay, wait, how many? You have to count your chips, divide it by the big blind, and be like, this is how many big blinds I have. It just does it for you. It does it for everybody. What are we doing out here for fun? It's not relaxing, honestly. We go to went to dinner. Chill. We'll order room service tonight. I don't even need to eat anymore. Pizza. That dessert. What's 30 minutes? 20 30 minutes till coffee. And about 30 more minutes of rebuys available. Big juicy bounty on my head. Brown Mundi, Brown Moon, Brown Mundi, also the same. Sheldon getting cooked. Yeah, Sheldon's getting cooked. You're wrong, gross receipt. They are not overrated. If you play online and you have to stay in theory, card removal is a very important part of playing at a high level. So what you've just said is the, the opposite of that is true. Yeah, the opposite of that is true. It's a very important thing to think about, even more so in a game like Pot Limit Omaha. I actually never met them in person, the Botez sisters, yet, but I'm sure we will. She seems to seem to be getting it. Well, at least Alexandra's definitely into poker. I've seen her on streams and things like that. Looks like Andrea's more like into the DJ thing. She's releasing music. And chess, of course. All right, we got pair of nines. This might be just a jam, actually, because of the bounty aspect. Expect to get called a little lighter which is kind of a good thing. So if he has any pair, like eights or lower, he will probably call. Oh, well, we got an all in there. So now we have to do it. Okay, now it's an easier decision. Kaboomski. 
All in, all in. Now he's got a chance to win two bounties if he wants. Coup were clues. We just got to beat this King Alex MVP hand, whatever that hand is. Got to beat that hand. King Alex MVP. If not, well, if Coos folds, then we're not in jeopardy of going broke. If Coos plays, and we just have to beat that hand to stay alive. He's tanking, so he doesn't have a very good hand, right? He doesn't have... He did call. All right, what does he have? Queen 10, Jack, Jack, 9, 9. All right, we just have to beat the Queen 10. Fuck. No, we didn't beat the Queen 10. He's doing the whole chat thingy. All right, we lost. Queen 10 beat us for a big one. Yeah, we need to just fade. Yeah, the king, whatever. All right, re-enter. Last shot. Here we go. Voodoo. 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 Now we have we don't have quite as big a bounty on our head anymore. Last chance is our last bullet. 30 minutes remaining. He gambled with the queen 10 suited. Why? People are like, why did he call with queen 10? I told you he would call light. And the reason is the bounties. Right? In normal situation, he would not have called if it wasn't for a bounty. But he's going for the extra 350 60 bucks on my head, and he got it. So good for him. That's what changes about bounties. I told you we get lighter calls, right? So even if we lost the jacks, it's fine. Whatever. You know, he had the best hand. We'd lose 14 big blinds there. We had to flip for the other 15 or 16. We'd be right where we started. We would have broke dead even on the hand if we won that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Last bullet. Last bullet. And if we don't run this one up, the day will be done. Okay, let's see. I think this is good enough in the cutoff to do some things with. Might even make sense to open rip here because... The bounty situation. All right, well, what has he got? 13 Bridget Bardot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Boom, boom. Shh, shh. Dun, dun, dun. Last bullet. Last bullet, and now that we're short, you have to factor in, like I said, people are going to call with Queen 10, you know, stuff like that. So now we have to be more mindful of that. And, you know, basically we're going to be doing less bluffing preflop. We're just going to, you know, be more patient. Dun-dun-dun. What is the number beside the avatars? That is the VPIP. I saw that. I don't know. Somebody else told me. It doesn't matter. Now we just fold. Poker easy. Easy. When you get short on chips, it's easy. You just look like this. You hear ding. Look. Nope. Fold. I just passed out. Fell asleep. So we had the tens against the small blind who had queens in the big, and then we had nines against the button who had jacks. Two key pots saw our demise on bullet number two. Short deck will be fun. We've got big tournaments coming up. We got uh, tournament Saturday, Sunday. Monday is day two of the Millie Maker, the $1,500 buy in for an uh, opportunity to play in Paradise. 
in the Bahamas, and you will get 11 nights stay at a beautiful luxury suite at the Cove in, at Atlantis in the Bahamas. Folding, tight is right. Hmm. Sergio Burgiano looks comfortable, doesn't he? In that picture. Dora. Where is that? Looking it up. Andorra. All right, we can fold up to Andorra. Andorra is between France and Spain in the Pyrenees Mountains. Known for its ski resorts and a tax haven. Oh, I see what you guys are doing. Tax haven, huh? A landlocked country. Do, 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 do. Last bullet, last chance. You're gonna have to have better than a five on a tree. May have to do better than a five on a tree for me last chip, especially with a bounty. With the bounty, them come for you. Them come for the money, them want the grind. Ciao. No, you can't just call there, Ty David. With, I don't know what. Just no, it doesn't make no sense. I want to put pressure on the other guy to get out. <laughs> Man, fatigue hit me today. But we will grind through. We will double up. We will double our chips. We will get back in this tournament, and then we will have a nice coffee at three, and push forward. Onwards. Not this one. Boom. Hmm. Little power naps. I actually take them at the poker table sometimes when I'm tired. They help, even if it's just like closing minutes, five, two minutes. <laughs> Clint Vincent, I learn Romanian because my parents are from Romania and they would speak it to me as a child and so that's my roots is Romania so of course I learned the language and then when I went there um, when I was like 10 or something I stayed there for a month and really learned it pretty well what the hell is this all right what do we got here nine seven suit I don't think I can play simply because of the bounty dynamic you just can't play though that's what I was talking about a nine seven suited normally maybe you rope and raise but when you got a bounty on your head you, you gotta you gotta come with the goods okay, what was the flop let's see did we hit it yeah we did kind of a little something something there so on this bullet our v-pip is zero we have not played a hand yet Max versus Tappen? Is that a name? Max vs. Tappen. 
You would think that's like Max versus Tappen. Is it? Max Tappen? I don't know. You want to post in the pictures? You want to run on the pictures? You know. This coffee's going to be nice. Da -da 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 -da. When was the last time you were in Van City? Many years ago. For the BC Poker Championship. Yeah, I won it. I won the tournament. I don't know how many years ago. Noapte bună, Daniel. Da, trebuie să dormi un pic. Dar nu se poate pentru că trebuie să joc. Cum? Ce să fac? Ok, haide, give me, give me a hand. Haide, Mitz, come on. Haide, haide. Give me something. Give me something good to... Alright, I get the button. I get to come in behind the button. New table. Dmitro Shubenok. D. Smidjulkovic. Rusty Husky. The hotel that you went at the Bahamas, I would imagine it's, you know, whatever. You can bring somebody, sure. I mean, it's your room. I don't know if it's a double bed situation or a single. Do 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 right. You can do it, baby. Do it tonight. You can do it, baby. That's I don't. That's not even the song. I'm just thinking of an old song. It sounds like. Do it to me, baby. Do it right. Do it night. You can do it all night. Zero percent on this bullet. We've played. Not a single hand on this bullet. Wait till you see the short deck tournament we're going to play on Tuesday. That is a bonkers tournament. And then I go home on Wednesday. What day is today? Thursday. So we five, six more days of the the grind. I haven't played a hand on this third bullet. We are waiting real tight. Waiting for the might. We'll get an ace and the king and get it in. And we'll be the guy who calls it ace nine. That's what I see in the future coming. Mm -mm -mm. Ace king, ace nine. That's what we gonna do real soon. And we'll double, double, double trouble. Deuce is gonna be a fold right now because they call. And we don't have a favorite over anything. Dead against a pair. Flip against any two. We got a full pocket deuces right there. Wait for a better spot right now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're just going to actually min-raise. Because of the position, I mean, obviously people are going to try to come for my bounty. But if two people come in, then we'll just fold. Against one player, we're probably going to call off with King Jack suited. 
this allows us an out. So if it goes all in, all in, then I'll just fold the king jack because it's not going to be in good shape. Play money. Does he have me covered? He does. Barely. What are y'all thinking so hard for? Jeez. Two point three million in earnings. He's going for bounty too, right? So you have to think it's a wider range. We got to gamble. No gamble, no future, right? No gamble, no future. We're behind, mate. Probably ninety nine percent sure, but we got to take the price and gamble. With King Jack suited. Good luck, buddy. King Queen suited. Fuck. Not ideal. Okay, how about a three? I'll take half. All right, what is that? In a pair of nines, ace, king. No, need a three. What is that? This could be an ace. Ace, chop it up. Aces and nines with a king. Woo, ha <laughs> ha, lucky, lucky. Chop it up. Hmm. Got a gamble there. Got a gamble there. Well, we'll see a flop with you with the best hand in the deck. 10-7 off. Not this time. Jamea Khan Lingo was because Ahmed Bredrandem when I was a little you was born and raised in Jamaica. So Ahmed Bredrandem was back from back and yard. So me speak part of car. Me around them all the time. So me pick up on a little things here and there. So, you know. Me have pathway in my arsenal scene. No four tables, Patrick. Just the one table. I'm also chatting. I'm also engaging. I mean, if I played four tables, I wouldn't be looking at chat, would I? Uh, this is going to have to be a fold, unfortunately. Because we're not going to get to see a flop very often. It's not, I'm bored. I'm not bored, Mr. Salvo. I'm tired. Because <laughs> of last night and all that. I'm going to take a nap after we're done here. Call it a day. If everyone folds, I will jam this one. Take me on a trip. But if somebody opens, then I can't. They'll gamble with me. But I have a jack and a ten. These guys pick up an ace. They're calling 100%. Picks up a king. They'll probably call me. They'll call me with a lot of hands, but I, you know, whatever. Jack and a ten. So let's go. Jack and ten for jam. He's all in. Okay. Maybe if the he goes all in. That's bad. We don't want the third guy in. I'll play against Ace Five or whatever fucking hand Smiljakov has. Smiljakovich. What do you got? King Nine. I told you you play any fucking King High, whatever. It's fine. Now we just need to catch a jack 10 or a king. There's a jack. So no 10 now. That could be a 10. Yep, it's not. Sweet. Good squeeze. Ha ha! Double, 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 double. Told you we're going to double. Just like I said, jack 10 against king 9. We're going to double. Ship it. Back to 24 bigs. King, queen now. We have more chips. We don't have to jam. We also don't have to call. Yep, folding this one. Definitely folding this one. All right, we would have whiffed. Five more many minutes, then we get a coffee. Wake us up for the grind all the way. There's a lot of players starting this one. 2,566 entries. 
Wowza. Yowza. It's going to be a min raise Fold it to me. It's a min raise. Somebody raises, we fold. Again, very simple, guys. You're welcome, Charles De La Rosa. Boom, boom. Good look, good thing, uh, good flop. I don't have a day job. This is nothing to quit. But if I wanted to be a professional singer, you know, you'd buy all my fucking records. I'd make $73 million a year with my beautiful voice and my gorgeous face rapping, tapping, zapping, yapping. Oh. Uh. Guess is another nod. I'm gonna fold this one. Can a U.S. citizen play if they're visiting in another country? Absolutely, yes. Yep. If you set up shop outside the U.S. Then you just have to do a KYC, know your customer type stuff, show them something that you know to prove you're there, and you should be good. Many people do. I know David Williams, some others, they go to Mexico or whatever. Certainly doable. Three minutes till coffee. Sevens against the King Ten of Hearts. I like the King Ten of Hearts. Not anymore. Ooh, maybe I do. Look at that. King Ten of Hearts. Take the money. Um, I just want you to know, Independent Patriot, thanks for your advice, the Twitch chat god. I'm sure you're the best poker player in the world, and I'll see you in the high rollers very shortly. Good luck to you. Yeah, you sound like you know everything, so... Yeah, Independent Patriot in the Twitch chat... He's the, G he's the greatest of all time. Just ask him. Independent will tell you. I am. He's so much better than everybody else. He eats them for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He's that good. Never lost. He doesn't even. He never even lost a poker hand. You know. He wins every hand that he plays. It's just genius. Independent patriot in the Twitch chat. Shout out to the goat. You you sound like next level smart. Like I can't. I don't even know. I can't probably understand it. It's so above my head. <laughs> I love when they do that. It's funny. <laughs> One minute till break time, coffee time, wake up time. Boo -doo -boo -boo. Two put to poo, three sixes, huh? Wow. Wow, for a bounty. $343 bounty for Jordi Labit. Jordi Labit from Israel. Wins a big pot, huh? Now look at the big bounty. 359, 375. We have big bounties here. Big bounties, big bounties here. Who else? Yeah, not me. Well, I got a $406 bounty over on Eduardo Perez's head. Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. I think it's break time, coffee time. Time, break time, break time, coffee time. <sighs> Be right back. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Take a look at this here hand, see what happens. 
Why fold the king queen? Because I know what I'm doing. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with you people. Dude. Why fold king queen? King queen fold. Why fold king queen? Because I know what I'm doing, bro. You know what I'm saying? I know things. Ace five. Gonna win this one. Oh, queen. Wow. Sick one. All right. Break we go. Be right back.
So I left and you guys killed the music? Is that what happened? Coffee made. Music reset. X. Say it with me. X. Press O. X. Like an express. Expresso. Gotta do the pinky. <laughs> Okay. The situation, we are 600 out of 705, 725, whatever, who cares. Oh, did I? There we go. Control L. There it is. One minute remaining. A little bit. Am I on Discord on my phone? I think so. What is this? Agree. Do this later. Terms and services. Agree. Got it. This is not my Discord. Oh, I have two names on Discord. I don't know, bro. I've got a hockey one. that I, That's the one I want. Not this. Okay. I'm going to have to switch it over. I'm going to do, if you guys watch or listen to the Keeping Carlson podcast, they do another draft too. I'm going to do that one for funsies in addition to my awesome AHL draft which I'll be, t I can't tell you who I'm targeting because I can't tell you who I'm targeting because some of the guys might be watching this and they'll, they'll pump the price because we do auction drafts. This will be a fold if he raises and a limp if he checks. Or if he limps, I check. All right. Take it down, buddy. Go for it. All yours. You can put put the heat on me. I got the nine deuce. Did we find... Me and my wife have some find something fun to do. Honestly, we relaxed. It was a very relaxing day. I actually ended up reading a bunch of hockey stuff. Played some Russian cash for a couple hours. And uh, then we went to dinner over there, the Cactus Club. It was funny because they brought me up the most ridiculous food. There was like a chili, soy, soy tofu chili sauce or something like that. Soy chili. And I can't do chili because I get hiccups from anything spicy like that. So I was like, can you take the chili out? And they said, yeah, we can do that. So then they brought me just like the tofu, the rice, like whatever veggies, no sauce, just a dry, like whatever. I'm like, what is this? And I guess the lady forgot to bring me the ponzu sauce. Mm. Uh, gonna have to give up on this one. I have blockers, but they don't really help you all that much this short in terms of straight blockers. Queen seven, just gonna have to fold. It was worth seeing a flop for half a big, for sure, with the queen high. Yes, you can rod poker. You can do that. You can travel. Just email them and ask them what you'll need to do. Support a GG poker, and they'll help get you situated. I'm going to have to fold this one, too, because of the situation with the smidge here. And the bounty spots and whatever. Hmm. Bounty tournament range is different. Seven deuce offsuit, king nine offsuit, okay. So he had the seven deuce and he did that because of the bounty. King nine would have definitely called me anyway and we would have been screwed. We lost to both of them. Hmm. So as you can see, seven deuce offsuit. 
for ten. He did that because he was going for the bounty. Right? Makes sense. That's why we didn't open the Queen Four suited as well. Hmm. What I didn't realize is these little es espressos, they're tiny. There's less caffeine in one little shot, so I'm going to have another one after this. Because normally I have two coffees a day, but with these, it's kind of like two is one, right? Let me see. Let me see. How much coffee? How much caffeine? Google is your friend. Hey! <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh. Fold that one. Okay, let's see now. How much caffeine in espresso? What? What did she talk about? She said 70. Hmm. I see. So an espresso typically has 63 milligrams of caffeine. Similar-ish. 100 grams. What do you mean grams? How about ounce? Fluid ounce. Okay, one fluid ounce of coffee espresso. 63. What about? What about a regular coffee? Oh, I see. 12 ounces of drip coffee contains about 120. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so normally I would be drinking 120, and these shots are about 60 each. I get to have two. That's fun. I get to have two. Another one coming up. All right, fifteen point seven. Late reg is over. Place is paid 368. So about half the field will be in the money as well. I'm not an artichoke on pizza guy, Brandon. Brandon Westfall, nope. Artichokes on pizza doesn't seem to do any good for me. A good coffee. I started to learn, you know. Espre espresso, espresso, hey. Managed la Macedonia. I give him an espresso. Maybe we've got a pair of queens now. Coming with the men, looking to get jammed on, hoping to be jammed on, so we can double through. Hopefully, somebody picks up tens or jacks, and we can just. Whew, Get it in really good. This guy's tanking. He's been active going for bounties, so maybe he'll come for it. Nope. Pair of queens. Pair of queens. <laughs> We've been called. Small be it. Are you trapping me with aces? No. He would just put it in preflop. He can't have aces or kings. I don't think that makes sense because he would just want to get it in with me. <laughs> get my bounty. Hmm. Well, we didn't expect him in a pot like that, but we'll take it. 2.9 million in earnings. Hmm. Off of 20 big blinds, we are raising jack 10 of spades. This is an annoying one if I get three bet, have to fold. But, but, it qualifies 
as an open in this position, in this situation. Are you guys already tanking for the money? <laughs> we get the small blind calling? <laughs> Alright, let's go. We're going small. Going small. We gotta bluff this through, maybe. Don't love it. That queen is a juicy card where he can have a look. Fuck. Well, we wouldn't have made nothing. <laughs> nice hand. Jordia Labit. <laughs> yeah, oh, you should have played the 6 deuce Daniel. You already had one chip in. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Another espresso coming up. I have Restresto ones. I got a variety pack of these uh, Nespresso things. I like the Restresso. I like them all. I don't know which one I like best. We're going to have another. Ah, uh, hold on. Before we go, uh, we're going to be going all in here. Because we have the ace, we also have the king. And we have a nice juicy pot already. We will be getting called for sure, 100% for sure by one of the two players because of the bounty situation. This will not get through, and that's okay. What we'd like to get called by is ace-jack, ace-queen, king-queen. We'd like to have them dominated. You know, listen, we want to get sixes and sevens outs, but because we're, you know, flipping against that, we'd like to get it in as a good size two to two and a half, three to one favorite. If possible. If possible. Would like to have them dominated. What do you got? Okay, we do. That's what we wanted. Careful what you wish for, though, right? <laughs> okay. Now we need to squeeze. Okay, that's a paint card, as you can see. No sweat whatsoever. Bingo, bango, bongo. D-Neg's just done doubled up. Picked up the old Ace King up there against the old Ace 10. Ship it, ship it, ship it, ship it. Coming from a bounty, coming from a bounty, coming from a bounty. See, if that wasn't a bounty tournament, I don't think he would have put it in with the Ace, ace 10. He shouldn't anyway. In that spot. But the bounty with the bounty makes sense. Without the bounty, it's no. All right, this might be a three bet situation. Against Dimitrio, yeah, we're gonna three bet him to the old 5.2 trick. All right, sometimes we fold the king queens, sometimes we three bet bluff the king queens, okay? This is a spot where if it's four bet by anybody, we're done, we are folding to any more aggression pre-flop. Ideally, we just pick up what's there right now, keep the 28 bigs, pick up another eight, nine, Oh, shit. Now, if you were going for bounties, you would call here. 100% call. 1,000% slam dunk call. We're not going for bounties. We don't care, so we're going to fold. Oh, wow. Look at that. Not to fold there. Ace queen. Ace king. Oh, <laughs> old Dnex was... Blo I was blocking ace king and ace queen, but uh, they had it anyway. I was drawn dead against in this spot. That's fucked up. Good thing I'm smart and folded. <laughs> You see? Everyone, why'd you fold King Queen? Daniel, don't fold King Queen. I'm drawn dead with King Queen. <laughs> AC5 y. Foldy. Nespresso time.
Oh wow. It's quick. New hand coming. New hand coming. Jack nine fold. Back in action. All right, let's go. Okay. Independent Patriot. I forgot more things than you'll ever know, kid. Listen, kid. Listen, little whippersnapper. Respect your elders. Okay? There's things about this game, you know, you know, you, you uh, leave it alone. But yeah, don't be silly now. Okay, we are going to defend this big blind. It's a little bit iffy because of the ranges that flat this button. But we are going to see it. See it through to the flop. And we missed the flop, sort of. We have the Ten of Clubs working. We got on a check, check, check round board. We can bluff a lot of turn cards, like a six, a five. Hmm, can't get through. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So a lot of what like people like Indian Patriot, Independent Patriot or whatever, like their goals are different. Totally understand. Like we call them nits. Like, you know, what do you call it? Like just break even nits. Where they just play super tight and fold and squeak into the money and whatever. And like try to avoid any conflict. But we don't play like that. We play, you know, to win. And there's 2,500 people in this tournament. 2,600. You're going to have to build some chips. You're going to have to take some risks. Especially in a bounty tournament where people have wider ranges. So on any of the hands we played today, we're never folding any of them. Ever. We won some. We lose some. Such is life. But what, you, what I've never done is I've never gone down the knit path because I find them to be short-sighted. They don't, I don't see, they, think, they think they see the big picture, really. But again, there are spots where you just have to be a knit. And ICM, if you're playing for keeps and, like, you know, this is your livelihood, you know, you have to do that sort of thing. I don't, right? So I don't have to, oh, this is an ICM fold. You're going to save 27 cents. You, all, you, you make 27 cents more if you fold here. Ah, but I don't need 27 cents. I don't need the 27 cents. We play to win. We don't go in. We don't play with fear. No matter what. Never played with fear. Always played to win. Always. More than happy to give up some ICM value with with the goal of winning.
the hell's in that? Is my background a green screen or real? It is real. It is this, uh, the hotel pool you see behind me and the water. It's a pretty background, huh? Get warm. Maybe it's the coffee. Salutare din Botsani, România, foarte cudat numele meu e Daniel Negru. Ok. Hmm. Ah, the water chaser. I was a big NFL, AA Kid Rock, I was a big NFL fan in the 90s and whatever when the, the Buffalo Bills were really good. And they're good again. So the Buffalo Bills are the team I root for, but I don't follow football. I watch the Buffalo Bills games occasionally when I can, but I don't follow the game like I used to. I don't do fantasy. I'm a hockey guy. I'm hot, big into my hockey draft and my fantasy league. It's like the most fun. I have Jack Hughes in my league, signed until he's 35 years old. To give you some uh, idea, 13 more years. I signed him to a 15-year deal in our pool. <laughs> Um, um, um. All right, we're in it, okay? Average stack is 46. You know, not too worried about that. We're worried about our own situation. We're in a bounty tournament. You know, there's a price on your head. Now, our price on our head isn't as big because we busted the bullet where we had like 360 on it. So a little less incentive, but people still go for it. house stuff every day information inching closer towards officially owning the new home borrow 27 cents I wouldn't be able to loan it to you but I obviously punted it off for 27 cents I'll leave it for the nits the nits can can have it
Chick of clubs. Ooh, runna, runna. Hit the king. Wrong one. Boom, boom. Bounty down. Smidge Kovic takes it down. Bounty Hunter. We're replaced by G. Thank you. Oh, Andorra. Another Andorian. Compared to normal tournaments, are you playing a bit tighter because it's a bounty tournament? Yes. Not because... That's simply because of what the calling ranges look like. Because of the bounty, people's calling ranges are wider. So if you jam, they're going to call you weaker. So that means you should have stronger hands when you do it. Get it? You don't have as much fold equity. So you don't want to, like, raise it all in with 6-4 suited and hope that they fold ace-jack. That's not happening. Dun, 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 dun. King Dewey. King Dewey. What you coming with? Coming with King Dewey. Uh huh. How many chips is that? 42k still? Boo -doo -doo -boo -boo. Gee, thank you. Do 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 do. Bum bum ba da bum 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 ba da bum. Against 2.2, I'm actually gonna fold this hand. This is close. Hmm. This is so close that I would call a min raise and fold to the 2.2. Ooh, would have been. We would have had to go to war. A pair of deuces and a king. Would have been a war. Would have been a battle. We would have fought for that one. Uh, Sam Oker, when do you want to keep playing poker till forever, till I die? Yeah, there's no point. I mean, I already retired from, you know, requiring poker to make a living. I made it, if you will. So I'm gonna just play for the fun of it. What's my chess rating? It's around 1,200. I'm not good. I haven't gotten any better. I haven't been playing a lot. Just goof around here and there with some 10-minute games. On chess.com. Tyler Sue, What do you think of the Bedard kid? I think the Bedard kid is obviously a phenom. He's going to be great. But I think, like, people are, like, need to slow their rolls about the expectations they have for him this season. Not because of his talent. First of all, his age. He's going to be playing against men. And more importantly, he's playing for the Chicago Blackhawks. That's not a good team. Uh, it's gonna have, I don't think he's going to score 80 points in his rookie season. I'd say, I think a lot of projections have it 74. I would give him like 61 ish. I would bet under on the totals. Guested, what meal could I cook if I had a guest coming over? I actually love to cook. COVID actually switched that for me. Uh, I started cooking during COVID. I fell in love with it. Probably my favorite dish to make is like a penne pasta with, uh, I make from scratch. I make an Italian vegan sausage, seitan sausage, a nice, you know, nice Italian salad, you know, chop up some tomatoes and cucumbers, a little red onion, some red peppers, some romaine, a little Italian dressing, some salt and pepper, throw a little bit of like Italian herb on there. Hey, you got the salad, and then you got the pasta. You put a little, uh, you know, the faux parmesan cheese on it and uh you got yourself a meal i also make a mean pad thai and i also make a uh, pad thai with crispy tofu and i make uh my other i usually make a like a jasmine rice broccoli kind of seitan dish make a pretty mean tofu scramble too little burritos or whatever or just breakfast 
I mean, I'm a decent cook, I think. I don't know. I, I like the food I make. I can make a faux chicken parm from scratch. Bite of wheat gluten, silken tofu, garlic powder, nutritional yeast, onion powder. Boom, 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 boom. Mix it up, boom, knead it, knead it, steam it 25 minutes. Then we're going to bread it. You can fry it or not, it's up to you. You fry it for a couple minutes. Then you're going to put the tomato sauce on top. Then you're going to put a vegan cheese on there with the Vivo Life. Melt right nice on there. And you put that on the side with some little spaghetti. Not so, not too shabby. Make a vegan schnitzel. Vegan schnitzel. Okay, what do we got? 13 bigs. And we have suited dice. This is a dice. We're going to open this. Min raise. And I think we're folding to jams with the ace three. The kicker is too small. Good enough to open, not good enough to call off. Smidjkovic really goes after them, but he didn't this time. Now we are blocking ace combos, which is a good thing. Less likely somebody has one. Less likely somebody has a hand to shove on me. Is Ushuya doing like uh, money bubble stuff? They're like 150 out, 250 out. Yeah, I think he's money bubble stuff. Just fold, bro. You don't you don't wanna you don't wanna mess with this hand. Hmm. You wanna mess with me? It's up to you, bud. Fuck, he does. Son of see the problem with ace three is we're just not a favorite over anything, not a substantial favorite. Even if he just has like king nine. We're gonna fold this one. So we almost got that one through, damn it. Almost got it through to the big blind who decided to ship it in our face. All right, still got plenty. You don't just like, oh, 13, I just get it in. I'm gonna play properly. Steve Linder, I don't think you know what an introvert, introvert means exactly. Doesn't mean you're socially awkward and doesn't mean you're socially incapable. It just means what you'd rather do. Let's say for example, all things being equal, what's more, what sounds more appealing to you? Like a night at home, relaxing on the couch, watching a show or like being at a nightclub that's really loud and like that like which one sounds like more energizing for you for me the club environment would just like oh exhaust me at home relaxing tranquilo mx says you call gonna be all over baby <laughs> that's right what we got here 33k Would I share the, the country or state of my new home? It's going to be in Las Vegas. It will be in Las Vegas. We're going to move by the lake. I hope it's good. I'm just nervous. You know, I've lived in the house that I have for, what, like 15, 16 years. Great house. And we're moving to a very different part of town. A little bit farther from the strip. Hopefully not so much that it's like, you know, annoying. Because we were like probably 17, 18 minutes from Maybe 20 minutes from the strip-ish. Now we'll be closer to 40. Salutare di Romania, Daniel, you not Jacob. That guy did have an Elky emote. Elky emojis are available. If you click on this guy right here, you see me, you see Elky, and you see me again. I like to go with me because it's me. <laughs> hanging around, hanging around, hanging around. That's what we're doing. In the big blind with 10 big blinds. 10 big blinds hanging around, hanging around. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, 
All right, don't jam, please. He's gonna jam. To. Take your money. See what the value is for him. Is he can jam there more liberally because if he gets called, he has a chance to win an extra 125 bucks too. So he can do it with a lot of hands. This is one we may just end up putting all our chips in with. Shall we? Uh, we're not going to get any fold equity pre-flop. So he will call 100%. The question is, can we leave the big blind in? Can we leave the big blind in this position? I think we can, actually. We're going to take a flop. I know this sounds nuts to you guys, but, well, he's going he's gonna to bet this flop always, twice on Sunday. Min raise. You can't really fold much. All right, you have an ace, buddy? Tens, okay, you have an ace. Well, there you have it. Ten on the turn. That's that. Wah, wah. Well, on the brighter side, that means I can take a nap. We will see you all Saturday for the next event. I'm going to go lay in bed with the wifey. Catch up on some Z's. Hmm. That sucked. Oh, well. We did our best once again.